Game night. night. Tonight on Game Night, Nikki, Scott, and me, Lincoln, are going to teach and show you how to play Sleeping Gods, a game for one to four players designed by Ryan Lockett and published by Red Raven Games. Let's set off for adventure. Hey, Scott. Hey, Lincoln and Nikki. Will you teach us Sleeping Gods? I am so excited to teach you Sleeping Gods. I have been addicted to this game. I was going to say, you made us get it so that we could actually play it with you. <laughs> right, right. Oh, I'm, I'm super addicted to this game, and I'm really excited to play it with you and teach you how to play it. Awesome. So one thing I should state from the beginning here, we are, um, this is all spoilers. Like, this game is all, there's no part of this game that is not a spoiler, so. Are we doing the introductory? Except for this little introductory thing, which we're going to skip. And I'm just oh. going to teach you. This would teach you the game if you oh. go through this. They call it the quick start guide. Oh, okay. And it's, very, it's really well done. It's one of the best I've ever seen to get you into a game and quickly get you into that game. So Neat. Um, but we're going to You know what? I'm going to read the part of that book, though, uh, that can give you a little bit of the backstory of what's going on here. Okay. So there we go. I know, okay. I know there's flapjacks involved. Flapjacks. There are flap, <laughs> There's many flapjacks in this game. <laughs> Um, okay, so it starts. Captain Sophia, so sorry, Captain Sophie Odessa, April twenty seventh, nineteen twenty nine. So we're like in olden times here. Wow. <laughs> after eight olden years times. of uh, uh, after eight years of brooding silence, I received a telegram from my father. Taken ill. Period. Come soon. Period. I set out with the crew on the Manticore with a stole resolve to make it to New York. We were three days out of Hong Kong when we got caught in the worst storm I'd ever seen. When the sky finally cleared, we found ourselves in strange waters. The horizon was hazy. The only visible landmark, a tall rock sticking out of the water nearby. Atop it sat a woman with a, meat, with a nest of gray hair, waving a 10-foot fishing pole through the muggy air. <laughs> Welcome to the wandering sea, she said. You may think you're dreaming, but you are not the ones who sleep. The gods of these seas are trapped in a sleep as deep and binding as death. Their power over this world is dormant, chained by ungrateful mortals, but they have brought you here from a distant world to help them awaken. You must do this if you wish to return home. The gods? I asked. Who else? The woman cackled. You must seek their totems, hidden throughout this archipelago. With enough totems, you may wake the gods, and they may send you home. A reward for your service. Many have perished trying. You will also likely die, but good luck. All right. <laughs> We're I doomed. asked where we might find the nearest port, but the woman vanished. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now there's more to that here, but we're going to skip that part and just jump straight into the game. Okay. That's basically a programmed intro. It tells you exactly what to do, and it teaches you a lot of the mechanics of the game. So I'll also mention we're playing a solo game. We're playing solo, like one player, but we're, help, we're just going to work together and play. Okay. Because there's a lot of interesting things that can happen in this game. We can discuss it, make decisions together. Um, but there is, this is a multiplayer game. It's, co- it's 100% cooperative. And um, if we were playing turns, we would each uh, be assigned part of the crew. And so, like, you would have two or three of the crew. I would have two or three of the crew. Nikki would have two or three of the crew. And the captain would be a shared crew member. But just to make it easier, we're going to play solo. There's only one player here. And we're all working together on it. Cool. All right. Does that make sense? Okay. Yep. Okay, so let's look at the board here. We've got, and Lincoln can point to things for me, we've got Mm -hmm. the ship right in the middle of the board. That's our ship. Um, And then below that, we've got the map. Yeah, we've got the other ship on the board to show where our location with the map, and Nikki's got that. Yep, that's our ship. That's where we start. Um, And then going around the the, uh, sides of the ship and on top of the ship, we have the crew members. Uh, We have the captain up top, which is Sophie. Yep, yep, that's Sophie. Captain Sophie Odessa, yep. Captain Sophie, and then we could go around. Do you want to read the names, actually? Sure. Would that be we got Audrey Williams okay. from Liverpool. We got Kanan Sharma from Chennai. We have Rafael Vieira from New York. We have Marco Reyes from Veracruz. Captain Sophie Odessa from New York. Mac Mara Johnson from Atlanta. Kasumi Aoshima Aoshima from Osaka. Laurent Lapointe from Quebec City. And Gregory Little from Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. So there's backstory on every one of these cards. If we, I don't know. If we, we'll probably just... Uh, they're on that. the back. If you want to learn about a character. I'll just read one here. Mac joined her sister on an adventure to the Pacific Islands in search of a promising new job. Mac's parents hated that her sister called her Mac. She was Mara to everyone else. But to Mac, it represented the close bond the two shared. Near the end of the journey, a furious storm destroyed their little passenger ship and left Mac clinging to the crate of whiskey. To a crate of whiskey. By morning, she found herself 
On a forested island alone, it wasn't long before she realized she wasn't in the Pacific. She's lived in this f for 15 years in the Wandering Sea and mm -hmm. long given up searching for her sister. Now she just wants to return to Atlanta. Uh-oh. That's sad. I know. And she, with whiskey, that's so all she, she We picked her up in the tutorial. Okay. Okay. Just to let, fill you in. She's the, she was in the Wandering Sea from the get-go. Like, we okay. don't, I don't know what happened. That's the story, I guess, is the best. So do we know what the Wandering Sea is here? Uh, that's as much as I know, and we know, <laughs> even after playing this game for quite a while. Um, but it is true, there are gods here, and we have to awaken them. And we have to search for these totems. That's sort of a general idea of the game, but it's really an exploration adventure game. And whatever we're interested in to do in the game, we can do. That's, okay. that's, it's a pretty open sandbox game. Whatever you decide, you, you, we can do. Okay, cool. So um, in the tutorial, we got two quest cards. So Nikki, I think, has quest one and quest two. Yes. So go ahead and read those. Let's go quest one. Okay. Raids on Last Hope. Mac told us a rumor about rat creatures attacking a fishing village northeast of Zakura trading post. The village may not survive the attacks much longer and needs urgent help. Oh, so there's a quest. Okay. That is quest one. So we've got a quest. So notice on that card, Nikki, there's a, a little set of waves on the side. Yes. That means you have to travel somewhere to do that quest. Okay. okay. But so we're right, not sure right where. We have, we have clues, obviously. It's been to, it told us the direction of where it could be. Yes, northeast um, of... Oh, the Zakura. Okay. Zakura Trading Post, which is right here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But so we would choose something on this board here with a travel, I guess, is one of the actions we could take. Yeah, so, yeah, that'll be one of the actions we can take. Um, but let's go ahead and read that second quest, and then we'll decide what we want to do. Oh, do we choose a, which between the two? No. So the game works like kind of like a Skyrim. Did you ever play Skyrim? No, we didn't. No, mm -hmm. no. Well, you get quests in the game, the things to do, and they just build up, right? You can get... Dozens of them, in fact. So these okay. are the first two we start with. Annie's Cottage. Mac is on her way to search the cottage of an old treasure hunter named Annie. <laughs> Perhaps something there will help us get home. The cottage is near a bridge north of Sakura Trading Post. Okay, cool. Okay. So that yeah. is number two. So... So that sort of gets gets us started. Well, we don't actually choose them, but we if we stumble across them, we can resolve them. Notice that there's okay. keywords on those quest cards. So the first one, Nikki says raid. The second one says cottage. Right. The book, there's this giant book, which Lincoln has probably or yep. nearby, that has tons of story in the game. And that is where those keywords will come into effect. So oh, we have okay. to be careful of the keywords. Okay. Um, that'll become obvious as soon as we do the first thing here. Um, but the gameplay core loop is is this. You look at the ship, it has a number one, it says ship action. So this is like a little worker placement part of the game. So we're going to take our ship person, <laughs> that red token, and place it on one of the locations on the ship. Oh, okay. And the rule is it can't stay in the same location. It has to move. The ship takes damage and the um, one of the locations is damaged We can't or destroyed. We can't use it. Um, so there's little boxes there to mark damage and stuff. Right. So these little, I suggest, yeah. yeah. So I suggest for the first turn we just go to the um, um, the deck. Yeah. So we're gonna put our worker there, and we're gonna execute that action. So the first thing we do is um, in the in the blue hexagon we're gonna draw command tokens. Um, and so those are the blue tokens we have, the light blue. Yep. So now we uh, that goes into our supply. So we probably want to keep that separate. Okay. Keep that. Yeah, keep that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's a currency in the game that lets us do all kinds of things. So you'll notice around the board on all the characters, there's blue tokens, command tokens. Oh, here. So right. to do ac actions, that you spend command tokens to do stuff. I think there's at least 16 actions here, maybe 17. <laughs> so we're gonna not we're not gonna explain all of them, but like when I think of something that could apply, we'll we'll talk about it. Okay. Um, Notice also on our inventory, the flapjacks, the soup, um, the character, uh, what is that? That's Gloria, uh, Walker. Gloria Walker. And the gear all take command tokens as well. So we can spend our command tokens there to do stuff. Uh, the, the flapjacks and the soup are um, yeah, we need good. ways to get health back. Yeah. And the, notice on the, those cards, there's uh, requirements on the left, like three grain. 
to make flapjacks. So yeah, it's got like a little... Uh, yeah, we've only got one grain. Yeah, we don't have much of anything right no now. No flapjacks for you. Yep. No flapjacks and no soup for us. No soup for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gloria Walker uh, is an interesting one because she lets us draw ability cards. So that, and that's pretty useful. Ability cards are really nice. Um, they give us extra abilities on our characters and other actions that can happen, other like um, special abilities. Yeah, you, you just hold on to them. Yeah, you can, in fact, discard those to add damage to, in combat. Um, and that only costs a command token. And then the gear is like a, a re-roll. The little diamond shape there, the little, um, I don't know, what would you call that, an opal? Okay, yeah. That's, that's fate. And fate is like the random part of this game. And that would let us retest our fate. Okay. If we don't like what we got for a fate number, then we would basically be able to put a token on there and, and retry. Is that what these cards are right here? You flip them over and... Yeah, they're... so, yep, you're pointing exactly correctly at the fate cards. That's the fate deck. And the deck next to that is the um, experience deck. So that's where you would upgrade okay. your characters at some point in the game. Is that the um, abilities, or is that something else? Uh, no, the, the ability cards is that deck. It's, it, it, actually, why don't you just draw one to show? Let's see what's on it. So in the upper left corner is the fate value. So when we're testing our skills to do things, that is like rolling a dice, rolling a die. Okay. So it will give us like a bonus to our, to our, to our test to see if we succeeded or not. Okay. okay. Um, if we had that ability card in our hand, like what Gloria Walker, if it said draw two ability cards, we can install those or like attach those cards to characters by paying the command cost in the upper right-hand corner. So that ability card, when we draw it as a fate card, the number in the upper left corner is what we would add to our test to make a, a ch to solve a challenge. Right. So that's a two. Yep. Yeah, and that that symbol stands for um, savvy. It's a skill. Okay. So we test our savvy. That uh, anchor could ha add one to it. Oh. If we drew that card, though, we would add the two, the number two, to that. Right. Mm -hmm. In the upper left corner. Now, if we had that card as an ability card, th these are multifunction cards. They're the right. randomizer plus they're also abilities. We could put that, attach that to a character, and then we would pay the command cost in the upper right hand corner, um, which in this case is a one. So we'd pay right. one command token and we would put it on a character. So, cool. So that's what those cards do. Those are called ability cards. So they, they both test fate and give you more abilities. Here, give it to me. I'll, I'll stick it back in the deck. Okay. Yeah. Randomly. Well, what's the anchor on it? Good question, Nikki. Notice there's symbols on all the characters. Mm -hmm. And that shows they're what they're good at. They okay. can help us in challenges. Okay. Um, the arm is a strength. The fox is cunning. The anchor is a savvy. The eyeball is perception. And the crossed hammer is crafting. And wrench, okay, yeah. So depending on the challenge or what we're trying to do, utilizing those characters for their abilities can help us pass the test. Okay. That'll make sense. That'll make sense in a minute because we're probably going to go do a test soon. Okay, so this uh, ship action lets us search for stuff. So Lincoln, go ahead and uh, flip over the top token of the search deck of the search stack, I should say. These are the tokens. Okay, the one with the. Yep, just flip the, over one. The dude with the hat. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I think it's a shovel. It is a shovel and a fishing pole, but here show it. Yeah. Show it but that if you way, look you at can... it a certain way, it looks put like it on the camera. Yep. It kind of looks like a guy with okay. a hat. Tricor. Yep. Yes. But if you but notice, the okay. orientation is... Yes, the other way. Yes, it's, it's angled. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's upside down. Okay, so we got... Looks like we got some food. And Ooh. it says the okay. ship takes damage, though. I don't know. That yeah, so this like is a little push-your-luck game. Yeah, uh -huh. explosion is ship damage. So, um, well, we don't, we don't necessarily take it yet. But, okay. Well, here, here's the way it works. We can draw one to three of those tokens. And pick okay. one. Anytime you flip over damage, Joe, you do take the damage. So you okay. can push your luck to get a better token, or but you might take more damage. So right now, we've already taken one damage. So we could push our luck to get a different token if we don't like what that is, uh, or we can just stay with that and just take that. We will take the damage no matter what. No matter okay. all the, Of all the tokens you flip over, you take all the negative effects printed on those tokens. Okay. Should well, we push our luck? That gets well, that's a vegetable and a meat. Soup. Yeah, it looks like it looks like we would be able to make soup. Helps us, anyways. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could just stick with that and be happy. Okay. Now we wouldn't get more things. We get to pick one token out of the right. out of the out of the three up to three. Okay. Yeah. Let's just keep that. Yeah. Let's just keep okay. that. I'm gonna okay. Okay. So, so set that token aside, Link. Yep. It's over here with our stuff. 
Yeah, just set it aside. Though it's a, it's okay. like a deck you draw from it, and yeah, it's a okay. discard. Oh, okay. And then we and we gain those tokens. Uh, from I see. The we, token gain, we gain the, yep. the vegetables yep. and the uh, and the the meat. Now we have to take the damage, right? Yeah. So damage is random. So flip over a fate and get a number for us. Two. Location two on the ship. The, the, the numbers are printed on under each, each, each little location. Okay, right where we're at. Yeah. Perfectly t- synchronized. Right on the deck. So we, we, we slipped on the deck and broke something. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, while, searching, while searching for food. <laughs> okay, so that's step one of a turn. Done. Okay. Step two is event. So let's flip over the top card event. And I should say we, pre- cre- we pre-created this deck of events. Uh, easy events on top, harder events in the middle, and really hard events on the bottom. So we got a first event in the game. Abandoned canoe. The crew spots a lone canoe. Search it. Perception six. Fail. Minus three health. Gain one vegetable. So this is a challenge. Uh, to search it, it says perception six, right? Yep. So we need a total of six perception or more to pass this test. The way challenges work is we can nominate people to help with the, with the challenge. Right. If they have perception ability, uh, perception is the eyeball. Yeah, so Captain Sophia has it, right? We could put it with Captain Sophia. We could and put it with Kasumi Aoshima. Five do of it. them do. Right, but we have yeah. to spend action co- uh, tokens for them to do that. No, but we do fatigue them. Oh, fatigue is not bad at the beginning, but it can build up on you, and you start becoming weaker. So let's just do fatigue. This is actually so- sounds like kind of a bad event, like. Three damage would be taken if we fail, right? Right. That's the that's the negative fail. So what we do is we would add up all their symbols together, which if we did three people, it would be three different symbols, right? And then we add a fate value to that and okay. try to get a six. The fate values range from one to six. So we okay. could just do two and hope for a four. Right. Hmm. Well, we've seen two twos already in the deck when we looked at this stuff. I wonder what yeah. the what the mix is. Okay. So we do have a little bit of mitigation here. We have the gear where we could spend a command token and get a and redraw if we wanted to try to redraw. Okay. Kasumi also has a special ability on her card. Um, do you see it at the, on her abilities section? It says um, if you draw a one, you would if you could redraw it. If she, if if we draw a, a one fate. Nikki, grab grab uh, the uh, the fatigue tokens and put them on the characters that we're going to use in the challenge. So we add fatigue to the people that are participating in the challenge. Now, do we want to put a third one in, third person? Yeah, probably. Okay. Since you All said right. it's pretty dangerous, right? Well, the, the failure was three health. Right. So someone would have to take three damage. Okay. So we flip over three cards. Okay. So uh, just one card. Okay. Six. Woof! Right off the bat. Eek. So we got a six plus three is nine. So we crushed it. We yep. passed okay. that challenge. Okay, so what was success for that? We gained one vegetable. Okay. That was hard for one vegetable. Sure was. That was, but that was probably a little overcommitment for one vegetable. But learning, right? Learning. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're into the meat of the game. That was step one, and step one is the ship. Step two is draw an event. Step three is take two actions. Do the fatigues stay on the characters? Yeah, until you heal them, right? They do. Okay. They do stay on the characters. Um, but notice that the pancakes, if we can make pancakes flapjacks. or soup, we can... Yeah, oh, flapjacks, of course. Uh, we can heal fatigue. And there's other ways to heal fatigue in the game. We're already ready to make soup. We could we could make soup. Uh, but that heals people too, right? Does that have a healing uh, factor No, it has a well? thumbs down thingy. Oh, that's that's low morale. It cures low morale. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could make the soup right now and, and cure all three fatigue, but we could draw two ability cards from... Um, from I always forget Gloria. Her name, Gloria Walker. Yeah. Or we could make the soup, or mm. we could start exploring and see what happens. Let's explore. So we're in the two action phase. Yeah. Oh, by the way, those actions to build to make soup and to like do that kind of stuff does not take an action. You just spend oh. the command points to do that. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's not like one of your actions. Um, the actions you can take are um, printed on the ship card. Uh, you've got travel, explore, market, market, port. and port. Mm-hmm. You can okay. only go to market or port if the symbol is on the location where you are. Ah. Okay. Hey, I'm not going to So, vote. if you if you notice Nikki to the left of where our ship is, 
there's a market symbol. Trading post, maybe? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, tra- it's a, it's the it. trading. Well, the trading post. That's the port. That's port. And then Good. to the right of that, and a little bit, a little bit up, there's like a little looks little picture of a gold coin. Do you see that? Yeah. That's the market. Okay. Yeah. So we could go buy things there. So let's just do an explore. Okay. Let's explore um, that location. So we added t- tokens to the game to track the f- actions that we're taking. Okay. So we're going to do an explore action, and that number on that is a uh, number two. So that corresponds to a paragraph in the storybook, Lincoln. So why don't you read that for us? Okay. okay. So I go to entry number two. Yep. Seafoam winds through the maze of mossy rocks on the cave floor. They brush the heel of a smiling skeleton which sits reclined in, against an old iron door, blood red with rust. You find a skeleton against an iron door at the back of a cave. A, search the skeleton. Uh, what is the stuff where it says pink and stuff? So it says unavailable if keyword pink. So right. if we had that keyword in our possession, oh, we could not take that option. Okay. And then it's, the next one says open the door, requires iron uh, keyword iron, and then leave, return to ship. So I guess we search the skeleton. Well, we don't have the key, right? So we don't have an iron. Right. So the only option is to search the skeleton. Okay, turn to 133. So here's where we would take notes. Ah. Okay, with this? Like, in order... Yep. Well, flip that over, Nikki. On the back side of it. So notice that we came across a keyword called iron, right? Mm -hmm. Right. We don't have that keyword. But if we ever find that keyword, we want to know, we want to come back to this location. Sure, sure. Okay. So so you could mark on the map there, Nikki, where where we are keyword iron or, or like an exclamation point iron okay. or something. So just on this we, two We come right up with whatever, note, whatever notes. Yep. Yeah, okay. it's right where we are. Yep. Well, do you want me to read 133? Sounds good. Okay. A bag falls slack from the skeleton's fingers. You expect to collect it easily, but a snake with a milk pink mouth hisses out and fastens to your hand. You whip it by the tail against the wet wall of the cave. It says a snake attacks you as you take the skeleton's bag. Minus one health... Gain four coins and one venom, and gain quest 155. And we return to the ship. Okay. So we have to pick somebody to take that damage and get bit. Okay. Uh, Let's give it to Raphael, right? He's got seven. Sure. Raphael. So he takes one damage, and he also gets the keyword venom. The status venom. Venom. Probably the green drop. It's right there. Yeah. Yep. So he's poisoned. Oh, I thought that was a benefit. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, he's not good. Have super so we need, we need co- game quest 155. Nikki okay, so those. And I think we got coins there too, right? Link? Yeah, How many four coins. coins. Did we get? Four coins. Cool. Snake attack. A snake attacked us as we took a bag of treasure from a skeleton. Pink. So I guess we have the keyword pink now. Correct. So if you remember when we had the choice at the beginning, if we had the keyword pink, we couldn't choose it. Right. So So the next time we go back anyway, we were hoping to have iron so that we could do that. Okay. Yeah, we want iron when we go back there. So So there's 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 a door in that cave. Yep. So that's our first adventure. And we have another action we can take instead of uh, we could event, we can explore again we could go to a different location, or we could move. Travel. Well, we're we're poisoning Raphael right now. He's got venom in his yeah. coursing through his veins. That is true. <laughs> um, and notice Gregory Litter, Little is a doctor. All, All right, right, Greg, you're going to help us out. See Gregory Gregory's ability. Yeah, two tokens to get rid of a venom. To, oh, uh, right. Right there. We yeah. could spend that. Right now, to stop. Now, Venom basically hurts you every turn. That's what it oh. says on the little token, right? It says it takes the damage every turn. So we could okay. heal. We could use our two command tokens to heal him right now if we wanted to. Gosh, I think that that's probably at least just to keep us above, you know. Yeah. But then we yeah. move to another location to draw more uh, of these tokens. That's the loop of the game. You'll you'll move to a ship location to get more tokens, and then you'll spend them potentially or build them up. But we also have somebody that can repair this damage, correct? Audrey Williams does one. It looks like she repair one. one. Yep, so she can repair the ship. I think the Venom is a little more dangerous. Yep. So let's spend those two and take care of Raphael. 
Okay. Yeah. So those two tokens go on the doctor. Oh, okay. Oh. They, in fact, block his actions. He cannot take another action with his abilities until those those um, command markers are removed from his board. Okay. And we can do that. There's ways to do that. So All the right. Venom goes back into the bu- uh, box? Uh, the yep, so we just bolt. healed the Venom, so yep. nice. That's great. Okay. Okay. Um, well, we can still do another action. We can explore, or we can travel. So you can do explore again a second time if you want? It, you yeah, can... you can do any action twice. Okay. Yeah, you can do the same action twice. Now, you notice there's a little cave or a little island down to the south there, 174. Right. We could explore that if we want. But we'd have to travel to that location, wouldn't we? We're, we're in that location. So oh, if you I notice see. on the board, there's like this. dotted lines. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought those yeah, were, were in... like the routes or something. Okay. Yeah, let's go to 174. Toot, toot. Okay. So we travel. Uh, so travel, mark that, Nikki, explore. for our second action. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. yep. And then in 174. Yep. Okay. This is kind of exciting. If keyword foam turned to 174.3, which we don't have the keyword foam. Froth clumps in the bay below cliffs like skyscrapers of jagged pewter. Slumped against the rocky walls, tangled in knots of heavy chain, is a bear is the bare form of a man. Okay. Continue on page 132. So I want to mark foam, correct, Scott? Well, maybe. Let's see what it, let's oh, see what happens. Oh, okay. A. Climb up and free him. Strength six. Fail minus four health. Woof. <laughs> uh, and then turn to another thing. And then leave the man. Search nearby case instead. Unavailable if word pinstripe. Perception five. Fail. Gain one. Frightened. And then turn to another thing. Um, he's a bear man. He, he's bear. He's not clothed. He's not. Oh, a bear. I thought he was a bear he's man. Bear. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, sadly, I think we should. I mean, not think? sadly. I think we should try to heal him, uh, help him. I agree. Okay. He might be crazy. Yeah. I just feel that that's not. It's not. Of course, we only gain one frightened on the other thing. But I think that. I think we should try to do it. The problem is, of course, we need to do strength this time, and then flip yeah. cards. Um, yeah. So who has strength? Well, we just healed. Uh, we just healed Raphael. He's got strength. Raphael's strong. Yep. Marco? Marco, is he strong? We, what too? do we need? We need a yeah, six, right? Yeah, we need a six. That's pretty that's pretty high. Yeah, of course you we just put those two on there or do you We want, just got yeah. tricked into doing it. Well, not tricked, but we did three against uh, for six on one card. So we're yeah. thinking Raphael and Marco. Marco. What else do okay. we have here? Uh, Gregory, he's unavailable. Oh, no, Gregory can help. He just can't use his special abilities. Ah, okay. Hey, do you want to yeah. throw the doctor into a fight, though? Uh, well, he's not into a fight. We're trying to help the guy. Well, you're climb- we're climbing, right? I think is what was the test. Yeah, we're t- climbing a cliff. Climb up and free him, okay. yeah. Gosh darn it. I really feel... The problem is we can only... Cl- we need to make flapjacks and um, soup if we want to heal six. <laughs> we already have four. Right. Yeah. Or five. Well, we can we just take five. the risk and, do, and see what we got. Okay. Just do two. Okie dokie. So flip over so the we have card. So we have two strength. That yep. we... And, okay. And we only have two here. Okay. So two plus two, four fail. Yeah. Mm. Do we want to try... T- oh, are we out of command tokens? We're out of command tokens, aren't we? Yeah, because we used two on Gregory. Right. So there's nothing we can do to stop that. So we failed. Okay, boo, okay. How much damage do we take? We take um, four health. We lose four health. Okay, so the people that were involved in the... We have to put the damage on the people that were involved in the challenge. Poor Raphael is going to get more. Raphael's taking it. (laughs) Jeez. You want to do two and two? Yep. Oh, you can divide it up? Yeah. Well, they climbed up together. The paint, no, this guy. Yep. Marco? Marco. Reyes, okay. I think Marco's a priest, isn't he? He sure yeah. does. He's got yeah. a priest collar. That's why he wanted to go up there okay. and do that. So we didn't. So read the read the re- resolution again, Lincoln. Uh, well, it just says if we it, it says strength four fail minus four health, then it just says one seventy one. It doesn't say. So yeah, so that's one cool thing about this game. It has a fail forward mechanic. 
Okay. So if we fail, we still get to move forward. We didn't. Lo- we didn't lose. Okay. We just Anything. took. We just got hurt doing it. We just got hurt climbing up the cliffs. Okay. Well, then I'll tell you what it says. Yeah. You approach the man. Your steps cautious. His body is slack, and his eyes are like pools of blood and milk. Does he even know we're here? He hardly looks alive. Audrey tugs at the chains, and they drop easily to the ground. Why didn't we pick Audrey then? She's in the. She's in the thing. <laughs> okay. A shout gravels the, the man's throat. Free! Ah, oh, thank you! He jumps up and dives from the cliff, face into the sea, swimming effortlessly to the manticore. Once on board, he asks for some food and clothes and offers to reward you. Those chains were enchanted. I could not have freed myself. You saved me! Now I must return to my treasure if it is still waiting for me. Take me there and I'll give you a fine reward. Gain two coins and adventure card 12. Gain quests 14 and 15. Okay. So adventure card 12 is inside the box and quest 14 So grab and coins too, Link. Yep, two coins. Not quite enough for the fountain. Adventure card 12. All right. And quest? Quest 14 and 15. So you can see how we build up quests quickly in this game. Yep. Too much We've to taken do. two turns and we've got four cards. And there's Five two. cards. So we've got Oobzon. He's a passenger. He's got the wolf thing. Oh. And he has the ability there to um, reverse the fate. Redraw fate. Yeah. Yeah. Redraw. Yeah. But that costs a it costs a command. Co- uh, it costs it costs a command token for sure. Yeah. yeah. So where does Oobzon go? He's a passenger. Like a right, Gloria so Walker. he goes uh, right next to Gloria Walker, like like a passenger or like an ally. Right, to help us. Cool. Yep. And then, uh, hey, there's foam. It's just one word that we were worried about seeing. So now we, we got know. the keyword foam now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and what's the other one, Nick P? What else does it say on there? Well, it says foam bay. We explored a bay with sheer rock cliffs. Is Quest Fifteen going to be where we look for his treasure? I don't know. I haven't we'll flip flipped it over, it over yet. Okay. I had a question about the foam. I wrote it down on the location yeah, just erase on it. the map. It doesn't need to be there, though, correct? Yeah, you, yeah, because we've already kind of done it. It's just so you can't, like, repeat your stuff, re- repeat yourself. Oobzon's treasure. We freed a man named Oobzon, and he promised to lead us to a treasure hidden in a temple to the south. Okay. And the card is chains on there. Chains, okay. So now we have that keyword. Magic chains. Yep, another keyword. And we it's a travel one, right? It's got the waves. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I, so, should I be separating those? These are all waves you except could. for this one, the snake. Right. Yeah, you could keep them keep the travel ones um, together. And when we finish a quest, it, it will it'll tell us to remove it. Like, so we don't have overflowing cards in our hand. Okay. Well, hopefully we can do some of these. Yeah, let's try to finish a quest. Um, Okay, so that is the end of the turn. Right. That is one turn of the game. Okay. All right. There's a lot going on there. Yep. Shall we proceed to turn two? Sure. So, Lincoln, why don't you pick one of the locations, and I can explain what happens. Um, Or we can work together and decide. Um, I can explain a couple of them. Um, The sick bay... Let's us draw an ability card. It gives us three command tokens mm-hmm. and heal one point of damage from somebody. The bridge lets us draw a command card. It gets uh, see the two slash three there. Yep. That means in one player game you take the top number, in a two player game you take the bottom number. Okay. So it it scales to the number of players, right? So if we were playing the other side, there'd be it'd be other numbers too. So we would in this case get two command tokens. And then it says all the command tokens would return from all the players, all the locations, and go back so into So that the, would get Gregory Little free so to that, do something. That would get Gregory, Gregory free, correct. The galley lets you draw a command card, get two command tokens, and you can discard an ability card to get to, to heal a, f- a fatigue. And the quarters gives you three command tokens, and it lets you return two command tokens back to the pool. Okay. Now, the hole is not a place we can go, but it can take damage. So we can't fix that one, then? You can fix that. 
Okay. You just, it's just not, a, just, it's not there, a location. You can, yeah, there's no reason to go there. It's the boat right. itself. Okay. So we could go to the sick bay and heal one point of damage from somebody. Let's do that one. So draw an ability card. Yeah. Okay. Power strike. But it says it's three. So when you draw an ability card, it becomes sort of like the ability part is the more important part to look at. Okay. So the cost to put it on a person, and we tuck those cards underneath, right. and it gives them a symbol. So if somehow if we gave that to, like, Raphael or something, he would have now two strength I to see. do challenges. And that ability would have come into effect. This one is Power Strike. It says discard this equipped card when this crew hits for one damage. Right. So if that character makes a strike in, or hit, hit in combat against a monster, you can discard that card and add one damage. Yeah, it costs us two. But we do get three. We do get three tokens. So we put those here, and we heal somebody since we're there. Uh, should we heal? Yeah. Raphael's at uh, four, and Marco's at four. I say let's let's take care so of maybe Marco. Let's since Marco, he's a little yeah, weaker. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do we have to okay. attach this right away? If we want to, right? Do we? Right, but it would cost us two command tokens, and you see right. how valuable command tokens have been. Yes. Correct. Right? Yeah, but I we could we... do that now if we wanted to, or you could hold on to it. Oh, you can? You can hold on to it? We can hold on to those ability cards and save them for when we want to use them. Um, like, we could put that on now, or we could wait. Yeah, I would wait for now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then we, we reset okay. these for our actions for this yep. turn. Okay. Well, the, yep, and we need to do our event. We're in stage two, step two. Right. To draw an event. Yep. yep. Hidden supplies. While reorganizing, a hidden crate of food falls on Raphael. <laughs> wow. Okay. Gain one grain, wow. uh, and Raphael loses one health. My gosh. Okay. Okay. We should have no healed health, him. health, right? I know. Well, he's still okay. But yeah, he's got another one. Dang. Poor Raphael. He's just... We've really been abusing him today. Yeah. Okay. But he found food. That's know, a good thing. He's been poisoned. He's got food falling on him. Yeah, I know, but he did find some grain. Dropping from cliffs. It's almost pancakes time. We need actually two more pancakes so we can have both meals. And really help people. Okay. Who people was I heal. looking at? Yeah, that looks like you get a chicken from Kanan Sharma. Yeah, There's a little chicken icon. What is that? Right what there. does that do um, there, Scott? Well, that means he that means he becomes not frightened. That's oh. a oh. that's a status okay. token. Yeah, I want okay. it like. Yeah, I know. Somehow. You want a you fresh? You want a little fried chicken? Yeah. So we now decide what we're going to do. Uh, the two actions we want to do, right? Right. Um, can we somehow deal with... We, we don't really know where anything's right at, right? We need to go north. We just have the clues that we have. Right. There was nothing else at 174, correct? So right. I could mark that off as I think, done. I think we finished it completely. Well, let me yeah. look. It was. Oh, no, north. there was caves. There was caves. Yeah, there was something oh, there else were there. Caves. Yeah, we could okay. choose to not help we the guy. We could go back there, but we... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's going to resolve anything. Yeah. I was just looking at the notes and Although what Scott likes to suggested. check everything out, so I do like to check everything. But let's travel. Let's show how that works. Okay. Okay. So we leave. Okay. This. So put. Yep. Put our action on travel. So there's like a little graph there to the side of it, uh, or a little table. Sailing or traveling is a crafting action. It's a crafting challenge, um, and we could commit people in the crew to help add to that value. So, depending on what we get, is how far we would move. For a zero to three, we'd only move one space. A four to six, two spaces. Seven or eight, three spaces. And a nine plus is four spaces. Okay. Um, and since we don't care that much about, I mean, we don't want to go far. We probably just want to no. go one yeah, space. Yeah, just right? one person. Or, yeah. yeah. Put so we don't have to commit somebody. Yeah. Okay. We don't have to commit somebody to this challenge. So oh. they will not get fatigued. And that's that applies to any challenge. If you don't want to commit anybody, no, they will not get fatigued. But they don't add their abilities, right? So. Right. So, oh, okay. Something it's way off. So what we do right now is we just draw a fate card and add that to our total, which is currently zero. So okay. go ahead and draw a fate card. Okay, we have three. Power strike. It's another okay. one of those ones we just had. So we get to move one space. Okay. All right. Do we want to go north or this way? I mean, uh, that's two. That's two. I guess we need to go here, probably in this area. Well, some of these were... Yeah, what are the clues? Some of the clues... 
Well, regardless, if it's over here, we'd have to go this way anyway to get there. Well, do we want to help this that guy get his treasure? Yeah, where was that is at? Is one of them. We could go to the Zakura trading post if we wanted to go buy something. Yeah, we've got money. We've got like nine coins now. All right. Let's go to the trading post. Look at that. It's got a, it's got an event. Probably is going to happen. Something's going to happen over there anyway. So we're going to go to the trading post. Yep. Which is. Yeah, right there. Not the number, but the. the no, it is. The it coin. says one thirty at Z Z Zakura trading oh, okay. post. So the number would be if we wanted to explore it. Okay. We can take our second action and go to market. That would so be that's our second what, action. That's what we want to do, right? We want to market. Yeah, we'll yeah, explore. let's do that. Yeah. I'll show okay. you how the market works. Okay. Okie doke. So Lincoln, I think you've got the market deck right there below yep. our. Um, yep. yep. So you're going to draw seven off the top, and we're okay. going to purchase. We can purchase as many as we can. Right. Or want to. Do the remaining go on to the bottom of the deck? Correct. Wow, so there's some interesting things here. We've got a Mythian Axe. The Mythian Axe adds one to our accuracy, which helps us hit monsters, right, when we're, we're trying to hit them. Um, it will do four damage, plus if we have a card, like a, like a strength card in our hand, we would lose that strength card. So it would be spent. Okay. And it provides us one defense. Then we have a, the... That's a pretty uh, good weapon. Alzarian Trident, which is increased our accuracy by three. And then it's uh, three, and we have to get rid of our the wolf, and then it's plus one damage yeah. versus mythens, and it's also two defense. Yeah, that's have, pretty good too. But we notice that cost of that costs eleven coins. Yeah, exactly. We don't have it. Uh, chloroform may not place on <laughs> enemy hearts. One damage, I guess. Okay, that's going to be something we can use in combat. Then we have scouts gear. That 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 uh, increases our perception by two. That only costs four. Then we have the singing necklace. <laughs> Passive. The active player gains two command at the start of each combat. Wow, that's pretty uh, pretty great. That's pretty that, nice. That costs six. Then we have the Luke Lucran goggles. They increase our perception and increase uh, our accuracy for the cost of one command token. It's cost five. And then we have. Nikki's favorite, T, <laughs> which removes one fatigue for the cost of a command point, mm. but it only costs one, so it might be something we can actually afford. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually, too. Well, that is good. I would say that was the weakest of the bunch. Yeah, but everybody only has one. If we could remove one off of a person at this point, right? So I've found that in, as you play the game, people start getting more and more fatigued, so f getting rid of fatigue is a good thing. So um, the T is the great. Yeah, yeah, I would say let's get T. That. That's a dollar. And it's only a dollar. It's only one coin. Yeah, right. I think we should okay. buy that for sure. Okay. T is bought. I also think perception is pretty great. That's five. And the singing necklace is pretty great. That's, That's 11 six. total between the two of them, yeah. though. So we can't do them both. How much do we have left? We have, I believe, eight. No, we have, uh, okay. yes, we have eight. And the axe is also a, quite a good weapon. That's five. Yeah, we could get that. If you get into a we could do the we could do the singing goggles. I mean, the uh, myth and axe and the uh, the Lucan Lucan goggles. That would spend all. Oh no, that's eight. We have, that's ten. ten. I'm I'm confused. For some reason, I have eleven in my head. Oh, Scott I know why. Because Scott mentioned the eleven over here yeah. earlier. Uh, yeah, we only have five. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Well, we could always get. We could either get the axe and the chloroform or something like that, or we could do. Uh, that spot. Just we could do the. Well, I think I mean, Scott. So I think Scott wants here. the axe. Oh, you guys pick. You, you guys pick. You guys, let's yeah, let's pick. pick the axe for five and the chloroform for three. And then we're out of bucks. Okay. Those are good combat. That's all good good combat stuff. Okay. And we are broke. Okay. Oops, missed. We're Before broke. We... So then these just go to a discard. Yep. They go to the bottom of the deck. Okay. Face we down. won't see them. For there a long go. time. We'll see them for a while. And here is this stuff, I guess, goes up there with all the supplies. Yep, our goods. Yep. Can make a little bit more room here since we actually have things and I passengers. Know. We have passengers. We should put the passengers separate. Okay. Look at that delicious tea, Nikki P. I know. It looks... will probably make you feel better. It, it would. I want a cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. 
I have Okey-doke. some great stuff. So I should mention, since we're at this location, and we have taken our, we've already taken our two actions, right? But the port is also here. Notice there's like a little dock symbol on the next to the name of the of the of the trading post. This thing. There's a port reference card, Lincoln. Okay. Yeah, it's right here. There's a, a yeah. So there's a whole bunch of things you could do on at port. For wow. instance, you could go to the inn. Um, it would let you heal one fatigue and two health for each crew member. But it costs you four gold. For f- right. You could go to the shipyard to repair the ship. Mm. You can go to the healer to heal characters, and you can spend experience points to level up. Just so you're aware, we may not do any of that stuff right now because we're out of money for one. Yes, and, yeah. uh, I like that we spent our um, money, then just looked at the point. <laughs> then looked at the port yeah. stuff. Today. That's fun, you know. That was yeah, a lot yeah. of good stuff, honestly. Okay, like okay. I feel like those things are really nice. Okie doke. Okay. So that's so, the end of our turn. We're back to the... Uh, this is our third turn now, so okay. step one is the ship action. Mickey, what do you want to do on the so ship? So we take these off, right? Yep. What do you, yeah, where yep, would you like to go on the off. ship? Um... And we didn't spend any of our tokens, by the way. I know. We didn't Which spend any good, right? right? Good, it's I good. Think. We can spend. We can use it for something else. Well, let's go to the quarters. I think because then we can get three. Is that correct? Yep. 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 Oops. And we get to return two, which would come off the doctor. Perfect. So okay. put those back in the pool. Yep. All right, off the doctor. And you get, Oops. and you get three. And we get three more. Yeah, I should have. You also get in there. The, you should have, you should have kept them in just yeah. Yeah. You also so this is a li- this is a limited pool then, right? That yes, that is important. That is a limited pool, so you have to spend stuff to get it back and right to get it back through. into into the economy, yeah. so you can get it draw some when yep. you nice. do draw. So we have okay. a pretty, we have a lot of command tokens. We may want to. Uh, we also get an ability card, Nikki. I don't know if you saw that on the on the quarters. Okay. Uh no, I didn't notice that. It's the little brown card. Oh, the brown card. Little okay. One With a one on it. Yeah. Okay. This is alert. Discard this equipped card to give this crew member plus one accuracy. Mm. We do have some accuracy stuff already here with this. Well, it's yep. only plus one. It wasn't as... And, but some of the people, like Raphael has a plus three. Yep. And Mac has got plus four. That's because she's been in this... In the, in the she's, sea forever. She's been... Wandering sea. Correct. So she's um, she's experienced. Yeah. And look, she, her weapon is saber. So yeah. she's she's a she has a saber. She's she's near pirate level. <laughs> um, well, anyway, let's. It, that goes with these. It doesn't. Yeah, we could we could start putting we could start equipping these if we want. And that includes the one we because, got on last turn, correct? Yeah, correct. Well, let's do that one right off the bat, and let's give it to Max. So she's like the killer. Don't you think, or do you want to make somebody okay. else? Yeah. Well, yeah. You would. You'd. You'd only have to sign one person, and it would increase her um, her accuracy. She would be plus five now. Yeah, but in, and in combat, that's important because you pick which character is going to be fighting. So, so let's just do each, that each time. Max okay. going to be yeah. our go-to gal for that kind of stuff. Okay. Do we want to equip this one? And you would normally put them underneath, right? right. You, you'd stick them underneath. But yeah, I'm we, gonna there's put a little here. spot to tuck. Yeah. yeah, we're going to put them on top just to show everybody, but yeah, well, yeah, yeah. you normally would tuck them underneath. Okay. And then do we want to do the uh, the other power, power strike, strike one on somebody? I think having good skills is good. Do we Because you've seen put, how the challenges work. Do we just want to put it on Mac? You could. They can hold two cards maximum. Right. I would say let's just do it. That means she's, she's experienced. Or, but... But you might want to put it on a person that already has strength because then they can add two strength to their combat, to, to a challenge. Maybe the yeah. captain. Yeah, let's put on the captain. She's fatigued, though. Got to help her out here. Okay. Okay, so that's two. We still have three command yep. tokens. We can save some of them for the activation of those redraws. Yep. We could draw two more ability cards using um, Glory Walker. Well, I mean, are ability cards worth getting more, seeing more of them? I personally feel leveling up is important. Like getting those cards is good to, to okay. make tests. Well, let's just spend to, to one. Past she challenges. gives us two, and we don't have to. Yeah. We don't have to equip them right away. So that token goes on her. Card. Oh yeah, that's right. Now we can't use her until that token comes off. Right. Use her again. 
So we draw two abilities. Yep. This one is alert. Another one, it's the same as the one we already have. Hmm. And that's only one. And refine. This is repair. So you add a command token to repair one. That's Audrey Williams' kind of speciality. So it would increase yeah. her... I mean, you have to spend an additional... It would cost us three to repair two, but that's probably pretty good. She would repair addi additional damage to the ship? Is that what that does? It says, yeah, repair one. For an additional command token, she repairs an additional one. But let's hold on to them for now, Nikki. We'll just, in case we want to add them. Later, okay. Yep. So we have to do an event. And it's Carpenters. An iron Lucran ship with a crane approaches. Pays for, pay for repairs. Pay one materials, repair one, or sell materials. Pay one materials, gain one coin, or decline their services. Unfortunately, we have no materials. Okay, so we, we just We've declined the services. not any materials yet. Okay, or so decline their service. Well, that's one easy card that's sadly gone right away. Um, <laughs> we only we got a few more. Okay, so uh, yep. where do we want to go? What do we want to do? We don't have do money. We wanna, do we want to explore what the port? What do you think, Nikki? We could explore the port. Let's explore the port. So that is. Or the this. trading post. Well, yeah, 130, exactly. Yeah, the 130. Yep. Okay, 130, here it comes. This game has so much in it. <laughs> Okay, Zakura, Zakura Trading Post. If keyword unleash, turn to 222, which we don't. Clearly, we're going to gain unleash here at some point. The trading post at Zakura is a collection of weathered wood and tidy shops. A dull sister to the majestic Obsidian Hills, which lie at its northern edge. A. Explore the docks. B. Visit the tavern. C. Talk to the dockmaster. D. Sell pollen at the... We don't have pollen. Uh, and then E leaves. So the things, if we explore docks, it doesn't cost us anything. If we visit the tavern, we have to pay a coin, which we don't have. If we talk mm. to the dock master, we pay one of the food tokens we have. Mm. Let's do the free thing. Maybe? Yeah, free. Free is good. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it sounds like it might be worth something, right? If you, uh, um, I don't know, it's, it's probably another quest. I mean, is everything going to be a quest? Probably, right? Uh, sometimes. Okay. Sometimes not. <laughs> so Gosh. let's go to <laughs> let's go to uh, let's do the free one as Nikki said. Explore the docks. A sailor approaches with skin like cured meat and a lion's mane of sea salted hair. Wow. We've no need for cursed folk here. He punches a finger cursed into your folk. arm. Hmm. It appears you aren't ghosts, but I would have sworn you were when you docked in that iron ship. There's one exactly like it wrecked on the rocks just north of here. Hmm. Gain quest five. Turn to 130. Oh. Quest 5. Shipwreck. Investigating crashed freighter. A sailor at Sakura Trading Post told us about a crashed ship that looks just like ours. He said <laughs> it's stuck in some rocks to the north. And we get freighter as a word. Okay. Keyword, yeah. Well, we go back to yeah. the post, but I don't think there's anything... I mean, unless we want to pay the Dock Master, but it's another quest, right? Actually, we're done, right? No, we're still... Until oh, yeah. we turn to the ship, we're still in the yeah. adventure. Do you want to spend the food? It's just a, f a single food of any kind, or is it... Yeah, it just says pay one food. Well, we have five. Yeah, but we, we kind of want to be able to make... Seven. We need to get remove some of this fatigue off people here soon. We already have yeah, one, two, eventually. three, four, five. Yeah, so I didn't explain the full fatigue mechanism. Okay. Um, the first fatigue does not has no effect on you. The second fatigue, if you put another fatigue on someone, you flip it over, and they do less damage in combat, so they get weaker. Ah. Mm. And they will not be able to participate in ch challenges with two fatigue. Okay. So that's the, oh, there you go. That's the yeah. concept of it. Yeah. So let's spend a food. Um, let's spend a vegetables. Sure. Let's spend it. Because vegetables, we only yeah. need one to make soup. We need okay. one of each to make soup, and we need three to make pancakes. So we at least have the best chance of making at least one meal <laughs> for three fatigue right. reduction. Okay, so we go. We pay one food to visit the dock to talk to the dock master. He is one thirty point three. The dock master, a lucran with maroon skin and a twitching eye, warms up to you after Marco shares a bit of soup with him. You ought to stop at that little rocky island to the east, the one with the dead trees. He snorts. It'll give you a chance to study some of our more vicious species. 
He walks away laughing, holding your bowl, your soup bowl. He took our soup. The dock master warned you about a dangerous creature, creatures on the little rocky island to the east. Remove one low morale. We don't have any low morale, do we? So no. turn to page one. So I think we're done here because we can't, we don't have money. So we leave and return to the ship. So he didn't give us a quest? He just... He didn't. He just warned us. He just gave us information. Yeah. To the east. Okay. What's to the, to the east? east. With no, an island with no trees. Yeah. This one, 54 maybe? Well, does that look like it has dead trees on it? Oh, that has dead trees. There you go. The one with dead trees. The one with dead trees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, do we want to deal with monsters at this point in time? I don't know yet. You, you know. got her we're, we're, It's already. in a different zone anyway. Scary. Yeah. Well, we're not even there yet. We, we haven't even... We're not... We, that's... We got to go back to the zone we were in before. We still have one more action. Do we want to explore... There's nothing else to explore here, though. So maybe we should move. We should travel. Right. We should move. Yeah. Uh, I think that's good, but... Yeah. Do, do you want to come here to this por portion of the island? Of this same island? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. What do you think, Nikki? Sure. Oh, I should also mention, you can sail off the edge of the map. And go to another Notice page. Notice there's yeah. arrows yeah. pointing to another page. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, so we're going to do a uh, travel. Yep. yep. And then we're not, we don't want to come in anybody to help us, right? Because we only really want to move one space. Yeah, I mean, we want to see, there's several things to explore over here. Yeah. Okay. So draw off eight to see what we get. Okay, it's one. Okay, so let's just move one space. Yep. So there we are. We moved. We moved. I parked okay, us at 216, the but yep. that doesn't oh. mean that's where now, we're at. Oh, so this is this is a new thing. See, in the in the in the space, there is a uh, storm. There's a problem. Oh. It's a, oh. Five. It's a, it's a challenge that we have to take. Mm. So we have to pass that test. Is that a? Uh, it's a wolf. Is that a fox? Yeah. yeah. So fox. that is a um, that is a cunning test. Okay. We need to take a. We need to get five or more, to avoid getting low morale. Okay. Well, I know. We've got. He's he's one. He's already been hit. I know. Everybody the else. The cunning is like. I know. Everybody else has. Cun oh no. She's we hasn't. Cunning. Mac hasn't done that yet. So we want to. Let's do. Commit. Yeah. Does okay. it? Does it? So that'll be one. And we need... We need five. Uh, I guess we need yeah. to do two. Okay. okay. That's probably all we should do. Okay. So that's going to give us two. Because I don't two. think low morale is not, not that great. You know, we can, we can cure low morale. Not okay. that hard. Well, we could have cured okay. it just a, a little bit ago. Hey, yeah. it's we only have three. One plus the two. So we could use Kasumi's special ability. We spend one to draw another card. Yep. Only for a one, though. Sure, let's right. try Because only try. if you draw one with her. Sure, which we did. So let's do it. Might as well experience what right. that's like. Put Come it on. Put it on her card. Okay, yeah, that's right. So let's make this so that we... Um... Come on, big numbers. Big money, big money. Hey, a one. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Exactly the same. Okay, Come so on, we one. failed, right? Yep. Really? Okay. okay, so someone someone gets low morale. Wh whoever participated in the challenge. Right. It was uh, which it was, was Kasumi and Kanan. Well, Kanan's the guy that's Kanan? not a chicken. No, no. Yeah, Kanan. Yeah. I think it should be on Kanan. Look at him. He's the guy with the chicken thingy yeah. on there. So okay. he's more likely to get it. All right. So we low morale. Uh, it's one of these tokens, Nikki. That's a st yeah. It's one of those tokens. What does low morale do? It says, challenge. Pay one command. So he cannot take part participate in the challenge unless you pay a command point. Okay. Well, we're done there anyway. Okay, so that's yep, the end of that done. turn. Oh wait, no, we're okay, not. Okay, so Is, now are we? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That, that was, was the travel. The storm. Okay, yeah, that's right. And we hit the storm. Okay, new ship action. What do you want to do, Scott? Let's go to the um, the search. The, um, the the deck. Okay. Okay, so we get two tokens, two command tokens. Oh, okay, yeah. And we're, we're looking for uh, wheat, right? Tremendous amounts of wheat, right? So we so flip one of those over. Yep. yep. It's, we get, uh, hey, it's either one coin or two wood, I guess. Hmm. No damage, right? No damage. Yeah, why don't we take that one? 
two wood and just stop. Yeah, let's get two wood. Okay. So that's so they're repair. called materials, by the right, way. Right now, we finally got the materials. Yeah, I know. Okay. So now we have some materials. Okay. We could go back and barter at the uh, port. Yeah. So now we need to take an event. Otherworldly path. The air fluctuates ahead. <laughs> Your view distorted as if through hot air. An unfamiliar horizon appears beyond. Sail through. Turn one page on the atlas, left or right, and move the ship to one of the regions there. Gain one frightened. Or steer the ship away, pay one command, and gain one fatigue. Mm. It would move us. So we could go We could go all the way over here to something else. But do we want to do that? I mean, we I haven't know. even looked at any of this over here. I know. What do you think? I... I would avoid that, maybe. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, it might be exciting, but the thing is, is we've done nothing. We've only done this little area here. We right. haven't even done this yeah. yet. We haven't done any of this. We've barely done any of this stuff. Yeah. So let's yep. let's pay a command. We're all, unfortunately, I think we're all on the same page there. Command. Well, luckily, we have one to spend. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now we get a fatigue too, right? Yeah. Yep. I think. Fatigue. So we yeah, steer away from that. Right. Who do we put can, it on? We can put it on whoever we want. Well, it should be on Laurent. He looks like the steering kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. Salty dog. Yep. So one of those. Okay. Hmm. Now we can do two things. Do you want to explore, Nikki P? I 216? We'll explore 216. Okie doke. Into the book again. Into the book. I want to hear more story. You want me to read one light? Sure. Go for it. Okay. If keyword mail, turn to 216.1, but we don't have that. Mm -mm. Mail, M-A-I-L. M-A-I-L, by the way. Okay, okay. M-A-I-L. Yeah. <laughs> you spy a broken canoe and a handful of weather-worn crates on the beach. As you step from the rowboat to investigate, a bear-sized black lizard belches a fireball at you. <laughs> a large fire-breathing lizard attacks you. Do we want to, A, try to fight off the lizard, B, flee back to the ship, or C, try to grab some of the crates and escape. Mm. Well, Mac is Mac's a pro here. If we fight the lizard, then maybe we can grab all the crates if we win. Could be. Yeah, it might be good. Or we yeah, just grab show off crates combat. and run. <laughs> yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Mac's going to be... Let's fight. Mac will fight? commit because okay. she's got plus five accuracy. Okay. So we go to 164. The lizard's skin is impervious to your weapons. You flee back to the manticore, fighting off the lizard as it scratches the rowboat's gunwale with frantic claws. Minus two health, gain one weakened, and Ew. return to the ship. Oh no, couldn't Ew. even fight it. Yeah, don't get it. It's it. impervious to our weapons. So who do we put that? Who do we put this on? We didn't actually do anything. I know. Well, we could just pick somebody. It was the, it was those crates that in, in, uh, encouraged us. I know. Um, well, I where do we want to put it? Who do we want to put it on? You want to put on the doctor? Okay, Gregory. <laughs> Gregory. So two health. What does weakened do? Oh, I don't. I'm sorry. I was putting the weakened on there. Minus two to skills. That is something he heals, though. Oh well, yeah. Do we want to put it on somebody else? Maybe. I don't know. He's got a lot of skills. Look at this. Laurent gets steak with, if we put to command. Yeah, it can make, make him fish. Let's put it on another person and then dock Gregory for two health. So okay. let's put it on... Who do we think we might not need? <laughs> we need everybody. What are you talking well, about? Uh, we have, how we about have Marco? A Marco keeps getting... He's, the, he's our... Looks like he's our chef, dude. Um, he's the yeah, priest he's and the chef. chef. I think Audrey Audrey could probably take it. She's okay. at five. Yeah, we haven't we haven't used Audrey yet. I Correct. Think, right? Util, we haven't utilized her. Right. Okay. She's not fixing anything right now. Um, so we put the weakened on her. Okay. And then we put the two damage on Gregory, I guess. Sure. Oh, Gregory. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. I, everything can't be good, though. No, nope, it's it's an adventure game. Those crates were alluring, but they uh, they they. I marked it on the map as a danger dangerous place. Okay. 
Yeah. So, and we have yep, some we do more have of this one stuff those cards. we can yep. assign. I guess we could put it on Mac, right? Or Laurent. What do you think? I mean, should we save a space for, uh, for Mac for a second thing? Can you always Yeah, maybe just... put it on Laurent. Yeah, okay. maybe put it on Laurent to give it, him a perception as well. Okay. Extra perception. So we spend one. Okay. So I don't think we should go back to the beach because I think that was a fire-breathing lizard. Yeah, yeah. So we would probably get a fireball on our face, yes, right? Right. Sure, sure. Should we go to... Well, we that, could go to this uh, island island's? right here, yeah. That's our second action, right? Yep. You want to mark it with our token? Second explore. Yeah. Toot. If keyword freighter turned to 7.1. Hey, we have it. We, we have that. Yeah. We have that, yes. In the rocks ahead lies the wreckage of a ship eerily like the manticore. That's downright chilling, says Audrey. You find a crashed ship that looks like the Manticore. We're going to board the ship and search inside. We have to pass a Perception 6, where we will lose 4 health. Well, we definitely well, have Mac we, and We have lots of Laurent, Perception. Which would yes. give us 4 total, right? 4, yeah. Okay, so we need to fatigue them. Yep, let's do send them for sure. Okay. And that's second for both of them. Yes. Yeah, so, so the, the second fatigue reduce. makes them weaker in combat. Oof, okay. Yeah. Now they can't they can't take any more fatigue and they can't do any more challenges. Okay. Hmm. So we flip, right? Yep. So we got plus four and whatever you roll. Oh, we only got one. Yipes. Okay, it's a one. Yeah. Okay, so we can use Kasumi's ability again. Okay. We spend one command token. Yep. Okay. To flip a one. Yep. Okay, flip another card. Two. So that is exactly enough. Two is exactly wow. so. okay. So we made it. Wow. Okay. okay so we didn't take so the health damage. Cards. Okay. The only remaining crew members are the decaying corpse in the storage locker, and a hefty brown dog who sips happily while Raphael rubs its filthy ears. Gregory emerges from the captain's cabin with a blurry photograph of Raphael, Audrey, Kasumi, and himself. Oh no! What? On the back is a set of coordinates. You find a you find a dog and a strange picture of your own crew members with coordinates on the back. A, take the dog and the picture and go back to the manticore, or B, search for more clues. Wow. So if we take the dog and go back, to, this is to help us make the decision. We get to know what happens here. If we take the dog and the picture, we gain two coins, adventure card nine, and we complete quest five but gain quest ten. If we search for more clues, we gain two coins and adventure card nine. And we turn to another paragraph. Want to explore more or do you want to get gain a photo and a dog? Well, <laughs> we gain the dog either way. We right. gain the dog. We gain two oh, coins okay. and the dog either way. But if we search for more clues, more stuff could happen. Yeah. Well, they think we're ghosts. I mean, this is kind of weird. Like what's what's it happening here? So it was, we somehow crashed at some point in time. Right. It's a time travel thing. I don't, I don't know. That is weird. Okay, well, if we push on, we're just looking to... for more evidence. Yeah, more clues. Possibly more dangerous. Right. We've got two people that can't fight well at the moment. We do have some fighties, though. Fighters, though. Kasumi is a good fighter, and so is um, the captain. Yeah. Okay. And so is Raphael. They're all, all right. good fighters. Let's just keep... Okay. Well, Raphael's got the most damage. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Can we come back? If we leave now, we would complete the quest, and we would not be able to come back. Oh, okay. Then let's, the keyword. let's keep going. All right, we're pushing on. Taking a risk. Okay, gain two coins and adventure card nine. Which is Bigfoot the dog. Bigfoot? I'm excited to see Bigfoot. Yes. Cool. Okay, it's Bigfoot the dog. He's got strength, perception, and protection of one, and he costs one command token. So another passenger. It's just animal, but it is essentially another passenger. Probably have to feed him. Oh, wow. He's versatile. Yep. We're going to 136, new, a new paragraph. Though the ship has been thoroughly looted hmm. and its hull destroyed, it's unmistakable. This is the manticore, or some version of it. And who is that corpse in the storage locker? 
The whole crew leaves with a sick feeling that overwhelms any curiosity about the ship, its missing sailors, and the ghostly photograph you found. The clues are undeniable. The ship full of corpses is somehow the manticore. Gain one material, one coin, and two low morale. Yikes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Complete quest five. So that will go into the completed quests box. Okay. And we gain quest 10. Return to the ship. Who do we put low morale on? We got two of them. Ooh. What's that one do again? It's you have, uh, to, pay? Chal- you have to pay command for a challenge, yeah. Oh, that's rough. Anybody with two morale, two fatigue should have it because they can't do challenges anyway. Okay, well, that's Laurent and uh, Mac who we just buffed up that yeah. barely made it. They can't, cha- they can't do challenges anyway with two but fatigue. But the captain can get rid of the low morale. Correct. And we lose, we, um, I think the soup helps too, right? With low morale. Yeah. It does. That is right. So maybe we should make some soup. Yep. We have the stuff to make soup. Let's just do it. Okay, so it's a grain, so, a meat, and a veggie, veggies. Two yep. veggies, my two veggies. And put put the command token on the soup card. Okie dokie. And we get to remove and three. So we should, three we should and the, dump these two on these folks that are already at minus one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then... And get... And get rid of a Lumerale co- uh, token. Oh, yeah, just one. Uh, let's get rid Probably of it on Mac, Mac. right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we have one more uh, fatigue, fatigue we can get rid of. Is anybody doubled up? No, not anymore. We just, that's why I removed those. Yeah, folk, those. nobody else. I would get rid of either. I would take it off Mac or Loren because they've got those those special, or the captain. Let's do it with Mac. Because so they've got those special full, uh, cards. She's at full ability. Okay. okay. Well, we'll, cool. we'll get these others taken care of at some point here. I mean, if we go back to okay. port, we just need four gold. We only have three now, so we can't do... Okay. So that's the end of the turn, I believe. Well, I should read the quest, correct? Oh, yeah, let's read the quest, for sure. The mysterious okay. photograph. This is a strange photograph. We found a crashed ship that resembled the manticore and a picture of some of our crew. Mm, some. On the back were coordinates leading to the base of a volcano near Lucra City. All right, so new turn. And our word was picture. Picture is the key word. All right, Link, uh, where do you want to go on the ship? Let's all go to the galley. No, um. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we did that already with the soup. No, but it does let you get rid of... You dump a, a one of the cards, ability cards, to get rid of a, a fatigue. I mean, we should probably start dealing with that stuff. Or also, we bay. can also go down to the sick bay because Raphael needs help. Yeah, that might be a good one. So I think that's where we'll go. Sick bay. Okay, sick bay. Okay. So we get three command tokens, which we have none now again. Mm-hmm. And we have... Uh, one ability card. Iron Will. Discard this equipped card to give this crew member three uh, protection. So it's a strength thing. That's pretty good, actually. Yep. So let's mm-hmm. hold that. That's two to, to equip that one. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we can heal one damage from somebody. Yeah. Yep. It's going to get it taken off Raphael. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Then we get an event okay. card. Now we get our event. Ghostly visitor, hey, it's appropriate. A yes. chill air fills the ship as an ethereal woman walks the deck. Oh boy. Convince the ghost to leave the ship, savvy five. Fail, we gain one frightened. So we need to get savvy five for the challenge. Yipes. Savvy is the anchor, the anchor correct? Yeah, so we don't necessarily have. Gregory uh, has savvy. Gregory does have savvy. You know what? We forgot to put a, a command token on this gear uh, when we drew a second oh, yes. card. We cooked the soup instead. Yeah, so, so why don't you take just one of these, put one yeah. on there? Yeah, we yep. would have done the soup retconic. now anyway. So yep. yeah, that would be fine. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. So now we have to determine the savvy. So what do we want to do here? I don't know. Um, I guess we want the ghost to leave the ship. 
Uh, What's the failure? We get a frightened? Yeah, we get a frightened. Maybe one what is frightened the ghost. Yeah. Let me look at what frightened does. Oh, that's the chicken, Nikki P. It is the chicken. The chicken, Nikki P. <laughs> Can't attack. Eh, we could take a frightened. He makes yeah, we can put on the doctor. go away. Put it on the doctor, okay. You test the card first. But he gets... Oh, if we fail, yeah, okay. If we fail. If we don't yeah, get yeah. a five, we fail. So are we going to commit some people? I mean, I would commit him. So we commit the doctor, you're saying? He's got savvy, he does. Yeah, he does have savvy. So fatigue him. Okay. We need a four. Oof. Okay, yeah, we've drawn a lot of ones and twos. It's time for... Well, I hope we've fil filtered them out. I hope. Gosh, I don't know. It's insane how many ones and twos we've drawn. At first it was like, oh, wait, maybe there's going to be some good cards. Because that's wanna... six, right? Yeah, that we've right. wasted three. They do range one to six. I know, I know. Um, do we want to commit somebody else? I mean, we don't... Nah. I, I'd hate to have Mac get... Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Hey, it's a four. What do we need? Perfect. Five. Five. Yeah, we got it. Sweet. We okay. got it. Wow. Okay. So, no fail. we don't get a fail. That's that. Is there any benefit? No. Nope. That, that was it. That's it. So we just didn't get frightened. Yep, which is good. The dog <laughs> actually, good. he fortitude. Let's go to 30, right? Hit 30? Yeah, and explore. Sounds good. I'm going to read it. Do we have keyword rotten? No. Nope. No. That doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. A sun-pierced peak of black rock looms before you. Shadow seeps across the sky like ink in water, filling the air and breath in your lungs with a sickly vapor. Draw fate. Okay. Three. What do you get? Three. We gain one madness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Madness. Yeah, it's one of these things, yeah. It's like a little spirally thing. Challenge. Minus one health. Hmm. So if we go on a challenge, we lose a health. For somebody. Who do we That's put it on? terrible. The who doctor. do you want to put it on? The doctor. He's six. Yeah, because we won't be sent. He's, he's mad and... Uh, well, he didn't get frightened. Everyone else no, he didn't is get five, frightened. except Raphael is seven. But he's well, he's at four right three, now. Yeah, these guys are at four. So three, I guess so six. Gregory can... can He's, he's, oh man, he's our doctor. We don't want to I know. Madness. I don't know what to do. He's a little crazy though. He's seen too much. That's right. Okay, what's next? <clears throat> okay, do we want to A, sail through the shadow to the rock? <laughs> that's a savvy, that's a savvy six challenge. Gosh. Mm. If we fail that, we take a ship damage and we gain a madness. Do we want to reverse course? Savvy five, fail, gain one madness. Might as well just push forward. But we would remove one more. Low, we would remove a low morale if we do that. If we go back, yeah. We have to go forward. I agree. I feel that that's what we should we want, do. We already committed. I mean, we yeah. already lost. Yep. So we need to. Right, have we need to savvy do savvy again. six. Uh, <laughs> who has no. savvy? That can use. <laughs> well, oh, we forgot to put. Oh, we don't have savvy. We don't have savvy to. No. To, to well, some, somebody's got savvy. Somebody's got savvy. Well, they, they all, a lot of folks do. It's just, does it gain yeah. us anything? Well, the, we healed up the captain. We really healed up Mac. Mm -hmm. We do need to focus on the captain soon, too. But it does have power strike, if anything goes on there. Wow, we really need to get more uh, fatigue off here. Mm -hmm. It's only one, though, to get rid of one, Nikki P. I make Do we want to just spend to... one to get rid of the fatigue off the captain right off the bat? We could drink the tea before. If, if, if we somehow got into a combat, we could drink the tea. Okay. So, here so let's fatigue her. Right. And so we're at a, we had a plus one, right? She's just one. So, yep. so we need a five. Yeah, I know. We need another. Flip. Do we want to do fatigue somebody one else? One. Do we want to just do Mac? She's got savvy. Sure. Mac. Mac, our Mac, hero Mac. Back and forth on Mac. Okay, well, we're going to flip and see what we get here. We need a four. Total? No, we need six, right? A four, a four on the flip. Yeah, six yeah, total. Yeah, we didn't get it. We got a total okay. of two. What we, so we got a total of four. It's two. Two. Four. Okay. Do you want to commit another one to this? We can't. This oh, we is can't. it. That has to be cleared It's off. already used. Yeah, yeah, we already used it. I mean, we can um, do one on Oobzon. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's Oobzon it. Okay, Oobzon it. 
<laughs> Oops, I'm good. Come on. Four. Six. Woo, okay, we're safe. Hey, we made oh it. Hey, goodness. look at you. It would have been the savvy, too, know, that we need to buy. I know, there's a bunch of savvies yeah. in that flip yeah, oh, man. that we're just using for the number. Well, we only had one other six, right? The ability. Okay, well, at least we made it. Uh, okay, not that exciting. The cliffs are swarming with crows, and the shadow turns the water an eerie black. But the rocky pools are filled with bright blue fish, an easy harvest. Gain two meat, return to the ship. Okay. So, what was that keyword that we were missing there at the beginning, Nikki? Spoiled? Yeah. Rotten. 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 Yeah. Rotten. Mark, make a note of that, because there's quite a lot of text there, I think. Okay. Something is there. Oh, we just don't know. It's at 30. Keyword. Yeah, 30. Okay, we got another action. We've explored all three locations there, right? Uh, yes, we did. Okay. Let's let's sail to the next space over. Yeah, let's go over one more. Okay, take this. that action. Yep. And then we have to flip, right? And then, and, and just flip a card. We don't yeah. want to commend anybody. No. Nope. Right? Hey, it's another six. Hooray. So we can sail two spaces. Yeah. Um, do we want to go over go, to this area, or do we just we want to come to the here? west? Oh, um, so you're saying just get off this page we, and go to page we 13? We could. We could go north. I don't know if we want to get into it? a storm. Oh, that's there another is a storm. storm. There. That's Yikes. a storm right there. Yep. We could. We don't have to go two. We could go one. Okay, let's just go one. We don't want to go if we don't want to go to the storm. Yeah, I don't think we want to go over there, do we? I think we. Well, need we don't. To. We can avoid it, right? Mm. Oh no, you hit it when you go there. You hit it when you yeah, go there. Yeah, as soon as you travel into that space, you you encounter the storm. Okay, let's just do this for now. I mean, it's a five okay. um, strength. Strength, but. Which was, you know. We do have iron will we could attach to somebody. Well, we only have one of these right now. But Oh, and iron will costs. But two. we're at the end of our turn anyway, so we're okay. going to yeah, get more to command turn. tokens. We also need to okay. clear some of these too, so we got yeah. so many yeah. command tokens out. I need Can we do more, more food or soup or flapjacks? or? We, we need two more wheat. Quite. We need two more wheat. Right. Okay. Okay, we're in a new turn. Yep. So ship action. Whose turn is it to do one? Do you want Nikki, maybe? It's so Nikki's I, turn? Yeah, Nikki. Yeah. What was the gap? The galley, galley again? It's we discard one of our um, uh, ability cards. Yep. And oh. it lets us get rid of a fatigue. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's just not a lot either. But is this the ability cards we get rid of, the ones that are equipped? In our hand. Okay. So, Nikki, the bridge lets us recover all of our command tokens back, but we'd yeah. only get two. Yeah, so but what the hey, we already. But have it would clear one. off the gear. It would clear off the gear. Everything, yeah. yeah we should it. do that. Yeah, because we need all of that extra stuff. So every one of them comes off, except except for the one that we have in reserve. Correct. Right. You're gonna draw a card first, ability card. Okay, okay. Yep. Let's do one for our hand. Yep. Discipline. Discard this card, equipped card, to reduce one low morale. So that's cool. Okay, gets rid of a low morale. Yep. If you want to, if you want to, you have to discard it though. Uh, and it has to be equipped. Yeah, and that's two. To uh, do. Okay, and then we're gonna get two command tokens. Yep. And then all command tokens return to the to the bowl. That's good though. Yeah. That is good. It gives us some cho choices here. Okay. We need to find grain or more veggies and. Yep. Grain. Well, we could, just veggies would give us some, uh, get rid of some uh, fatigue and a low morale, which we have a low morale on Laurent. Oh no, and Canaan. Okay, well. We got a lot, everybody. Yeah, we're, we're getting low. a little hurt. <laughs> yep. Okay, we need an event. Okie dokie. Theoretically, it's another gonna be easy one. It'll be a party and. It's the Zakmir Traders, a ship with a green patch sail approaches. Trade trade up Ooh. any up to any two food for any type, or one or raid their ship gain one low morale and one grain. Well, closer <laughs> to pancakes. Well, we could trade the meat for grain. Yeah, we could. Right. It it's could only nice. but you only get one. So any two for one, or is it two for two? Oh, is it? It just says trade up uh, to two again. food for any type. So we could get we can make pancakes. We could trade two food up to two. Yeah. Right? We want to get so pancakes, we can turn right? Yeah, we want to get flapjacks for sure. Okay, yeah, flapjacks. 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 <laughs> okay, let's do that. We'll trade. So turn a meat. You want to turn a meat into a grain? 
Don't we want to turn two meat into grain so we yeah. have sure. pancake yeah. time or flapjack time yep. right off the bat? That sounds good. <laughs> it sucks though because we have no meat, but the cat, but Laurent can get us fish, so we could he have. He can one. fish. Yeah. If we need the flapjacks that. heals too. I know that's what I, that's what's great. It gets rid of three fatigue and three damage. So yep. I say we do that right off the bat. Yeah. And we spend the three grain we just acquired. Yeah. Can we train wood for grain somehow? Well, I was going like to say, can we train wood? it and mix it in to yeah. just stretch the batter yeah, a little right. further. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sand, use some Add sand. more milk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we get rid of three fatigue. Well, obviously the captain gets rid of one. Yep. And then uh, Mac. Yep. And um, uh, Gregory. Yeah, he's got all kinds of yeah, bad Yeah, he's got going madness on. that we got to get rid of, too, at some point. How do we get rid of the madness? I think there is a person that can get rid of madness. There's... That would be Marco. Oh, it is. That Pay would cost one a food, food, though, unfortunately. Yep. yep. So we also heal three damage. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get rid so of go. one off Gregory and two, two off of... Uh, oh, no. And one off... Marco. One off Marco and one off Raphael, right? Yeah. Raphael. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That leaves that Even leaves out. five, five, and five for Gosh, each one of those. There's still so okay. much Stuff fatigue yeah, out the fatigue there. Yeah, fatigue is bad. Well, the tea we yeah. can always do one. You can always one drink tea. Minute. Yeah, for anybody that needs it. Okay, so let's do an event card. Okay, boiler room fire. A dangerous blaze fills the boiler room. Put out the fire. Strength six. Fail two health one ship damage. Can we just fail? Well, we could draw and maybe pass. With a six? Okay, so we should just yeah. go for if it. You draw a six. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hey, a three. So we didn't make it. So Thank we get two, two uh, we get one ship damage. Now we just determine so, where we want to go ourselves. Yeah, draw. Now you draw a number. Oh, okay. So we draw a number. It's two. Oh boy, that means the deck is damaged. Oh no, we can't go there anymore. Okay, and then we have two health uh, that we uh, we have to take. Right, so just spread it around, I guess. Yep. So the events get harder as we go through the deck. Sure. I mean, we're already there. Yeah, we're in level. We're in the next level of events. Actions. What do we want to do? Uh, well, we want to explore. Let's do one eighty-six. Right. We're right there. Sure. Spires of rock flame orange as the sun slides into the sea. Bewitched with curiosity, you follow a narrow stair to a solid oak door covered in carvings. At the center of the door is a face, his portly cheeks flushed by the light of the sunset. As you approach, he speaks with an air of authority. Go away, you're not welcome. Hmm. You find a wooden door in the rock cliffs. You want to A, open the door. That requires a keyword of a shrine, which I don't think we have. We do not have. We do not have it. Or do we want to ask the face what it knows? I guess we'll have to do that, right? Because we can't open the door. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're asking the face. That's 186.5. What do you know, face? Face, what do you know? I get so parched here in the sun. <laughs> there was a woman once, a follower of Mikra. Her tea was sweetened with honey made from bees, made by bees from the forests of last hope. Unless you have some of that, I believe my mouth is too dry to tell you anything. Quite a bit of chatter for someone whose mouth is dry, lost Audrey. Do we want to rip the wooden latch off the door? <laughs> Strength five tests. If we fail, we only lose a health, so we could just throw that out. Or do we want to leave the stone sentry in peace? <laughs> rip the door off. Yeah, I know. Goodness. What was the what word think? again that we kind of needed? Shrine. Do we want to rip the door off the latch? Yeah. Why not? Do we want to? We don't want to use fatigue, right? We could just do it without fatigue. If we fail, it's one damage. Yeah. Okay. Well, that means we need a five, right? right? I don't even yep. know so if we, five have we seen a five, five at all yet. Mm -mm. Probably not. I think we've seen a six. We've seen a lot of sixes now. We've seen one, two, three sixes. Okay. Lots of so ones and could, twos. Well, we have a good chance. 
Okay, well then let's flip it. A four. Now wait a second. Yeah, yeah, we weren't committing anybody to that. So uh, who do we want to give it to? You can give it to anybody. Okay. Uh, Everybody's at five. What's Kasumi's five? Um, Boo. Uh, Okay, Audrey, you're taking it. You were trying to rip that door. (laughs) (laughs) The latch comes free, but the door won't budge. You shouldn't be too proud of yourself, says the face. It wasn't even a real latch. Now get me some tea, or don't bother me again. Do we want to just get we some one tea? Material. We gained one material, and we return to the ship. Do we want to make tea? I mean, we can make. We have the stuff to make a tea. I don't know if it's the tea it's once, but... Not the honey I think we need tea. the tea word. Yeah, we, we need the honeybee tea. Honeybee tea, okay. So we need shrine. Do you want to write a, a cute clue there, Nikki? The honey from the bees of the forest of last hope. Goodness. I don't know where that is. Okay. I'm writing so small. I know. It almost needs like another paper. I've thought about on my own game getting a log book. Yeah, that seems like what you kind of need. From the yeah. forest <laughs> of lost hope. All right, we got another action. Yep. Explore. Uh, you want to do 34, I guess? Might as well, since we're here, right? Yeah, we still have one more, two after that. So let's hit 34. Do you want to read something, Nikki P? Okay. Here you go. Go to book page 34. Or not page 34. Uh, item number, 34. Number 34. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately the pages don't match up with the, the clue numbers. Oh, fun. Guess what? If keyword cottage turn to 34.3, and we do have cottage. Yay. We do have cottage. So we This go is to the treasure hunter lady. Down there, yeah, 34.3. Point three. You cross a bridge with wooden planks that dangle like loose teeth. Strength five. If we fail, minus three health. Oof. Yeah. Um, well, let's put the captain on it. She has two. Okay. So you, th- you think? She, yep. Teague. She's got two. What do we need? A five. Five. Yeah. So we just need a three or pl- a three or better. Should we just do on that one for the captain and do it? I think so. I think so. We can commit to another f- card flip if there's. Yeah, we a, have. A, yeah, we have a card flip with the gear. Do. Okay. Hey, we made it with a four. Wow. Sweet. So, no damage. Goody for us. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond the bridge is Annie's cottage, nestled among the fir trees, its door swinging in the soft breeze. Inside, a woman stirs a pot of broth. Uh oh. A blue lizard <laughs> lounges on her gray hair like a sultan on a pillow. <laughs> Uh, See, this sounds like Annie. Yeah. With the lizard. With the lizard. <laughs> oh, you got, she got her lizard. Uh, only briefly she looks up and sets her gaze on Mac. Ooh. You won't leave here with the map, she says, but you can have some soup. Okay. You can, uh, so you can A, ask Annie why she won't give you the map. B, accept the soup while secretly looking for the map. Okay. <laughs> so if we do A, we turn to another um, part right. of the story. If we do B, uh, it's perception eight. Oof. What? If, yeah. And if we fail, it's you turn to another part of the book. Well, we have four perception if we commit we Mac and Laurent. Can Laurent go? He's got low morale. Uh, we'd have to challenge pay. one command. Pay. Yeah, pay a command. We would have to pay. Oof. That would cost a challenge to uh, a command token and maybe fail. Right. We need. Do four we have any more? Per- oh, does the dog have perception? The dog does have perception. The dog does have costs, perception. Costs another but, command token. But that would be a command token. Ugh. We could get it to five with two command tokens, but that's risky. 
You want to just do the nice thing? But you should put that it needs eight. We should make a note that it requires eight perception to be able eight to. Because we actually have a card here that costs two, unfortunately, to yeah. add to somebody to oh, give increased perception. That's 34. But it's not the we could key. Have, we could have had six if we, well, we'd have to commit three people. Uh, we would sorry. have had to install it first, yeah. Yeah, no, we can anyway. Attach but it. my point is, is we wouldn't want Captain Odessa to get another, um, another fatigue. And she can't. Right. That's what I mean, yeah. Yeah. She can't even participate in a challenge right now. Oh, okay, okay. Boo. So I think we should just ask her about the map. Okay. Since that's free. Yep. Okay. I don't help totem seekers anymore. We're better off letting the sleep the gods sleep. Annie sips her soup, lifting the spoon to the lizard on her head, and then <laughs> extending it to Mac. Mac pushes the spoon away. Don't you want to see your family again? Of course, but I can't. The gods have nursed their rage for centuries, and they want revenge against these islands. They won't forget hmm. their captors or show any mercy. I can't give you the map. Okay, here we go. Some more stuff. Convince Annie that you'll look for another way to get home if she gives you the map. And that's a cunning six. The fail is you may try again or pick choice B or C. So choice uh, a B is restrain Annie and search for the map. <laughs> that's a strength uh, six and a minus two health if you fail. Um, and then <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is horrible. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> set her house on fire and leave. <laughs> uh, she won't. I'm sorry. She won't give you the map. If she won't give you the map, you want it destroyed. Okay. Ah. Uh, wow. <laughs> so A was try to convince her, right? Try to convince her with cunning. Um, cunning. And you'll look for another. Strength to be with, hold her down, hold her down, and look. Hold her Restrain down while her. we take the map. And see what's And burn, burn the house the, down. The house down. Man. Wow, and those are some choices. You, well, we, for, if you do that terrible thing, uh, you will gain one low morale, one materials. You'll lose um, quest two. This is the the burn the place down. Yes, burn the place down and return to the ship. So we get nothing basically. Well, except finish the quest. You get a material. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I thought we lost a material, but yeah, okay. No, you you gain a low morale. You get one material. Yeah. You lose quest number two, and you return to the ship. Quest number two was the cottage, which is what we're doing right now. I don't. I think we should strong armor. It seems like the least. But the problem is, is the captain is the only one that is even capable well, we of could, doing it. We could drink well, the look. tea, and then the captain could do it. The captain only yeah, gains so. us two. What do we need? Five. Wait, wait, wait. If you try to convince her, and you fail, you can pick B or C. So you. Oh, okay. So if we fail, there's it doesn't. Then you can just do. But we need to get, we, could, we, we, we need to do cunning, could, right? You have to do cunning six. Okay. And we Who have no cunning? bonuses for for A. We have no bonus. Canan yeah. um, has cunning. Marco has cunning. The captain has cunning if we want to have her drink tea. Uh, Mac has cunning. Let's do Marco because Canaan has low morale. Okay. Don't we think we should do two though to like buff us up a little bit? Or do we do we think that? Uh, sure. I mean, I don't know what that deck looks like. I have no idea. We've had a couple yeah. of big numbers here. Yeah, maybe we just put it in all in for this and then. Because the strength we could do the captain, she's pretty strong. Who else has cunning that we can use? Uh, Marco, Mac does. Oh, Mac, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. What the heck? So that gives us. Uh, we need a four. No, what? What's the cunning we need? Six. Six for Six. that one is cunning. So we need a four. We need a four. So just go for it. Not commit somebody else. Because Kasumi Who else has, has it. it. Kasumi. Sure. Why not? All in. 
Okay. What do you, I mean? I mean, there's a bunch. Because if we, we fail, we can also. Yeah. Well, no, that's not. There's not a bunch. We've got. We would need to like heal the captain to do it, but. So we need a three or better. So we're at three. I mean, we need a three or better. Yeah. Do it. Hey, a three! Holy cow! I'm glad we did that. Whew. So we're this good. made it. Yeah. We okay. passed. So we passed. So uh, thirty-four. Annie Five. Gets upset at you and starts fighting you. Yeah, burn the house down. Burn the house down. No. She burns the house down. No, we passed it, so there's no, we don't have those other choices. I can't go with you, but it's possible you'll find another way. She places a shaking hand on Mac's arm, and Max, Mac clasps it. Gain one coin, one grain. Ooh. Hey, grain. Pan on our way back to some pancakes or soup. And one XP. Okay, we marked that in the on the map, the map pa paper. Oh. On the other side of the sheet. On the yeah, other the other side. side. I just, you just put put circles. Just make circles. Little circles is how you track it. Yeah. Yeah, because you cross them out when you spend it. Okay. Yeah. I see. So, we gain one of those. Cool. And complete quest two. And gain quest six. Okay. So the cottage goes away. And I get six out. Okay. Let me read quest six. Okay, we got, I guess we got the map. Anne's map. I thought you were saying Annie, but I think it's Anne's. <laughs> Anne's map. We took a map from Anne's cottage. It, it leads to the forest on the island to the east. So, this island, maybe? Could be. Okay, well, there like you the go. the Dead Trees Island. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the only other island I see. Yeah. But I think they're all islands because it's archipelago. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. So it could be the big island. Okay. Okay, well, uh, we have one more action. Is there one more location to explore there? Yes, 18. 18? You want to do that? Burp, 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 burp. Okay, let's go to 18. <laughs> All praise to shore me. A voice scratches as you approach it. Approach a, a tower of dry wood. A group of people flutter around it, plucking and placing sticks like nesting birds. One of them greets you, his beard swishing like a paintbrush. Blessed pilgrims, the pyre is nearly ready. His companion scurries over. We'd be ready now if you built it like I told you. Are they here to help? <laughs> Could you? Sighs the bearded man. Shormi's fond of fires, bless her. And we tire of her earthquakes. And I tire of this one's carping. He tilts his head towards his companion. You meet a group of religious pilgrims. Do you want to A, help them? That's a savvy six test. Fail two minus two health and gain a low morale. Or sneak away. Perception seven. Fail, turn... Uh, if we fail, we go to another paragraph. We'd have four perception if we bump Mac and Laurent up. Except Mac oh. can't do that. Mac can't do it. He's got to, got to pay a command. I mean, we could pay a command to do it. That would give us four. La oh, Laurent. Yeah. We could also heal his low morale. Okay, how do we do that? With uh, the captain? the captain do that? Yeah. Or do we have anything else? I thought we had a card that did that. Yeah, or maybe that was too. something we could... Oh, it's yeah. the one if we equip uh, discipline, I guess, is it what it says over there? Right. Discipline is... It, it costs us two to do that, too, and I think you throw away the card to do and it. And then you have to throw it away. Yeah, yeah. so it's so cheaper well to just spend one to have the captain. Yeah. But can the captain right. do that, being fatigued? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So yeah, we yeah. spend one. Remove yep. the fatigue, uh, the low morale from low morale. Laurent. Low morale. Then okay. we bump him up. Yeah, and fatigue we bump, him and we fatigue him and Mac. Poor Mac. And that gives so us this four. is for this is for this is for sneaking away, perception. Oh, I thought it was percept. Do we want to savvy? Away? It's savvy if we want to if we want to try to help them. I think they're nuts. Yeah, I don't know. Me too. <laughs> I think they are too. They're burning um, down the thing. 
Hmm. Well, it's an offering, I think. Well, kind then let's of. try to get away from there, then. This is fine. Sneak away. Okay. So we have four of seven. Yeah, flip and see. We already flip had it. a three. It's not going to be good. Hey, it's a five. Woo, boom. There you go. That's the first we five we've seen. Yeah, we passed. Okay. Now we get a So this is the first time I've seen an actual potentially completely fail. If we had failed that, we would have gone to a different paragraph. So 18.3 is where we're going. Okay, we passed our perception test. While the pilgrims perform their rites to shore me, you slip away with one of their leather satchels. Ooh. Mm. It's questionable morals in these games. Uh, it's just religious pamphlets, Gregory Bones. But you notice a map on the back, and you, so you take one with you. You pinch a map from the pilgrims. Gain three <laughs> coins. That's good. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, get that. We one experience good. point. Oh, another circle. And cool. Yep, another Two, circle. Three. Another circle. All right. And quest 11. We stole the pilgrim's map. Well, they were on the back of every pamphlet, is it not? Oh, that's true. Yes. That's what it was. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of effort yes, just to, really get, stealing. Uh, yes, to get a pamphlet they would have probably given to us if we would have just asked. Probably. Quest 11? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's like, can we get one of your pamphlets? Yeah. Well, at least we snuck away. Take as many as you want. We, took, we snuck away from the crazies, though, so I guess. Yeah, I think that was important. All right, Quest 11. I'll read it. Okay. Seeker of Shorme. Religious pilgrims provided us with a map to begin the, a search for Shorme. It leads to a huge boulder in the east. Hunted is the car, is the keyword. Mm -hmm. Hunted. Mm. And it's a little sailing one. Has the ocean waves right, on right. it. Okay. Is there a boulder on that island? No, I don't see any. There's boulders. something here. Oh yeah, that is a boulder, isn't it? That's bouldery. Boulder dashy, but look how far away it is. Yeah. We want to bypass the, sh the storm if we're going to go that way. Okay, that's end of turn. Okay. So we can't go to the deck anymore. Correct, which is not good. We have a lot of wood. Can we fix I know. it? Yeah, we can fix it. Um, Audrey can fix it for two command points, it's command tokens. Mm. We don't have two yet. No, if we, we go will. to a port, we could fix it with wood, wood materials, or whatever. But we have to travel two to get there. Well, yeah. That's okay. Then this is another market over here. Yeah. Yeah, the market. But that's not a port. Right. Wow, and it's also you pay one coin per crew to restore all health. Spend XP yep. to buy level cards. Yes. Wow. I think we should. How much XP do we have? Two. Two. Well, if we can, if we can sail there, we could. I mean, we could travel two times. I know. If we want, and if we don't, you know, you want to do that? I mean, what do you think? Look at this mess we have here. We have. I think it's fun. Yeah, I think we could do a lot of help. We could heal a lot of stuff. The the biggest one is the fatigues, right? Yeah, I don't think yeah. we can fix that. That costs four. And every single person will heal two damage and one fatigue. Yeah. That's four for four money. Well, we only have two people, with, or three people with even any dam. Four, I'm sorry, four people with damage. Well, still. Yeah. I think we should hmm. do it right now while we have the money to do well, it. Well, we have to be able to get there. It's going to take us two one, movement. One, two. Hopefully, we can flip a card. And, and get if if you flip a high card, we could get okay. But we're in a new turn, so we have to do our ship action yep. first. Yep. Yep. Well, if we go do to we quarters, we get three. Yep. And we yes, just that's we the most. return two. Yeah. Yep. I say we go there. I agree. So we get three. Well, we're gonna three return command. two. We'll Yay. return these two. And, and we gain three. if it matters in the game, you can do those things in any order. Correct, right? Just to get them back into the pool. Because if your if your bowl yeah. was empty, you yeah. could do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're only allowed to have three ability cards in our hands. So before we draw that ability card, I think we can put one, train somebody, and give them one of the cards. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, let's put the one for Audrey, right? The, the repair. The refine. Yeah. Okay. Because it's only one. Yeah. I mean, it's one now, but we have to pay. We pay additional one to repair two. I'm gonna. And we put would it... like. To, I think we need to repair the deck at some point soon because we want to flip. That's over a good those space. Tokens. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's how you get food and stuff. Yep. I'm going to put it there because yep. I don't want it to get confused with these. Okay, two. well, then we flip another one of these. Here we go. Pray. When you use the quarters, you get to remove one low morale. That's pretty awesome. Too bad we don't have it now. I mean, that's it, cost yeah. two equipped. to put on. Yeah. Do we want to equip it? No, just put it to the side for now. Because that, that would bring one. us to Before next one. turn, maybe. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. And then uh, okay. we now flip one of these. Event. Okie dokie. Zak, Zakmir Refugees. An overcrowded boat lo floats low in the water as you sail near the refugees throw grappling hooks onto your ship. Help repair their, cra their ship. Craft eight. Fail minus seven health. Oh my gosh. Wow. So they're basically going to kill and us. You, and you gain one artifact. Or cast off the hooks and escape. Strength six. Fail minus four health. Gain one low morale. Wow. Jeez. Mm. I think we should What's cast an artifact? off the hooks. Yeah, so, so artifacts are like special items that are, I think, used a lot in the story, but you can also turn them in for two gold. Ah, okay. Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, it says two on the tile. Well, do we want to try? Right. Because she's, we just upgraded Audrey to be able to have two. Um, okay, uh, it's crafting. worth a shot. And then we could, uh, we could we also draw a add... We have a couple draws. We can also we add Ra Raphael as well. So we're going to help? Oops, yeah. Okay. I would run oh, yeah. away. Uh, no, no, Oobzon doesn't have that. Oobzon has a redraw, and so the gear has a redraw as well. Right. So we have a okay. couple potential re redraws. Okay. okay, so she's going to have this. Okay, so that's plus two. And then who else did we do? Raphael. Raphael. And Raphael. So Everybody's like almost one. maxed out now except for uh, oh, Gregory. Oh, boy. But yeah. he's a little crazy. So yeah. So we're at three. We need a four, correct? We need seven, right? We need eight. Okay, we need a five. Yeah. It can happen. It can yeah, happen, yeah. Uh-huh. Dreaming. Hey, guess what? A five. What? And look, it's hey. the card. It's one of those cards, too. I'm, I'm, Special wow. recipe. Well, I wish we could have gotten it for that, because we need those. Well, okay, we made it. Yay. So what do we, we get, get an art we get the artifact. Yay, an artifact. We didn't get killed. And uh that's yeah, not we an didn't artifact. get seven minus seven health either. Okay, so that's it, <laughs> right? Yipes! That's the that's the event. So now now the goal is to try to move <laughs> to travel. We're gonna try to go to port, right? Because yes. we want to heal everybody. Do we get any more money out of that? So let's travel. Um, well, we kind of yep, did because we got an artifact. Oh yeah. True. That's too money if we want to turn it. Yes. In. Yeah, we might need to. So let's flip a card and see how far we go. Okay. Hey, yep. four. That means Yay. two, doesn't it? Two spaces, yeah, two spaces. So let's We're go going. to, yeah, let's go back to the port. One, two. This probably is uh, where we should kind of end it. But let's, uh, yeah. let's see what we can do to get ourselves in ba uh, back into shape. So we're going to go to the port, and that's going to take our second action token, yep. put it on the port. And so when we go to port, there's a little reference card there you guys got um, right. that can show what we can do. We can do all those actions one time. Okay. Can we oh, can we do, yeah, we don't oh, do all one time, boo. Okay, I was going to say yeah, we can do, could do the, the end twice and heal... All of our uh, fatigue, that would be amazing, but we can't do that. Okay. That would be amazing. Right. So I think we definitely want to do the inaction. Yep, let's just spend four and do That's that. four gold. Yep. And what does it give us? Every, character, every um, crew member heals one fatigue and two health. Nice. Okay. Well, everybody's... That's least, a lot of fatigue. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. These people are down to that one's. So we have two people that have no fatigue. Good. Right. Um, and then two health off each. Okay, well, shirt. that's great. Everybody's back down, except for uh, Raphael's down to uh, zero. Raphael has one. Okay. Right. Uh, we could go to the shipyard and repair. We can trade in we wood on the materials or gold for for repair points. But well, we, have we, of, we, have we have a lot of materials. We have a lot of materials. So let's do that. Okay, well, let's do that. So that's two to do the two, two materials to do the two repairs. Cool. Yeah. Oops, wrong. F fix bin. the boat. <laughs> the boat is repaired. We can pay one coin per crew to heal all the health, which I don't think we're, we really need to do. No. Raphael still Raphael is Raphael could be completely healed as far as that goes, but we can spend XP to yeah, buy level cards. Oh. Yeah, so there you go. Yep. What were you saying, Nick? Uh, uh, the... 
the weakened and the madness. Madness, yeah. Well, that uh, we, that doesn't help us. Yeah, we're we'd have to use command morale. points to do all that okay. stuff. We yeah. might. I mean, if we're resetting here for we could get rid of the low morale with a with a with a with a, with a command token. The the madness I think takes food, which okay. I'm not sure if we want to spend food, but we could. Well, and finally, we could go uh, level up with XP. So, how much XP do we have? Two. Yeah, it's these cards yeah, here. Yeah. So, yep, that card. We we could go shopping for level up uh, sure. characters. Um, I believe the cheapest card is a three, so we don't have enough enough experience <laughs> to pay for. Oh, one. we don't. But oh, okay. but we would be able to pick what we wanted out of there and level up somebody. Wow. But yeah, they're all they're, they're not cheap. Okay, yeah, well, we only expensive. got our first experience in the last few rounds, so. So that is the action. Um, I think we're pausing now, or are we stopping? Sure, we okay. should. Are we should. playing anymore? Okay. Since we're kind of wrapping up, why don't we just spend these goods to uh, take care of some of these things? Sure. Yeah, so we can use the ability of Marco to heal the madness. Mm. Oh, yeah, for, from uh, Gregory. Okay. Let's that do spends it. one the, food. It, that, uh, it's, a, it's one... Uh, one command token on oh. Marco. Okay. Oh. Right. So and, and, it, and it's food, right? Yep. And then right. The and food. Say, it says pay one food to heal um, madness and a health. So we can take care of Gregory. That's good. He doesn't have any yeah. damage, though, unfortunately. Okay. Get his madness away. Yep. And yep. we can. The captain, we have any can, the captain can take yep. care of uh, the Canon's uh, low morale. Okay. okay. Well, Gregory. So that could, takes an action token. Could um, it's two. Oh, for two. He can get rid of her weakened if you want right. to. Weakened. That would skills. be good too. Probably we weakened. Just, is we just, the one we just that, refresh that, everybody here. Oh crud! We should have actually yeah. done this beforehand because. Oh. She had minus two. Oh yeah yeah. So we could have right. we, okay. we could have so taken she was care weakened. of it. We could have taken yeah, care of it. Yeah, she was weakened. Fine. Right. Yeah. We, those we could have here. we could have done that with, with Gregory. Yeah. yeah. That's right. They go on to Gregory now. Yeah. Dr. Gregory. So Marco. that gets rid of the weakness. weakness. Yeah, we would have we should have and would have taken care of that. So okay. Okay. We, well we're out of command of and we're out of turns. Yep. And I think we're gonna put a, a pin in this game. Yes. Yeah. And maybe come back to it in yeah. a future I hope time. So. What do you think, Nikki P? It was fun. I yeah, like, it's pretty intricate. I like the story ones. It's great. Me too. I love I'm looking. itching, though, to see the other maps. I'm like, why? Oh, I want to turn this page and see the other places in here. I could see, though, why Scott says it. You could, you, how could you run out? There's this book plus another. Yeah. So in the expansion that we have as well, there's more. There's more maps. Oh my you goodness. know, which just Come adds on. more and more yeah, stuff to look at, crazy. and then it's got more stuff in here. Is that story? Yeah, more of the uh, the you know the book. So it's like the, st mm. uh, the actual story stuff. And we didn't even see any of the monsters this is the yet. Tides of ruin. No, we haven't seen a single monster. I, I, <laughs> I thought that the dragon, the, the lizard, fire breathing. Uh, I thought lizard was going to be the guy. Maybe. I was hoping like go but we get couldn't get hurt. Monster card, blah de blah, but right. no. <laughs> I wonder how horrible they are. We'll have to find out. We don't want to yeah, spoil anything. No. We've already spoiled plenty. Yes, we have. Um, I do. I really love it, too. And it, goodness gracious, does it have a lot of great art. Yeah, it does. Ryan Lockett is super talented. He, I remember seeing in like one of the documentaries or something like that, he learned how to do the 3D modeling to do mm -hmm. these types of things as well, the, oh. the actual uh, plastic models. Well, this is really, I Intricate, mean, yeah. there's like a whole rivets all the way around the hull of the boat. Those are some big rivets, I mean, it's, scale uh, They're very <laughs> big scale-wise, but still, that's like a crazy detail that, yes. you know, doesn't have to be there, but it's cool that it's there. Well, I'm, I'm glad you both liked it, because I fell in love with it, like, the moment I started playing it. Um... <laughs> And I'm trying to think of games that it's like, and I guess Arkham Horror would probably be the one that I'd be closest to. But I mean, yeah. um, I, 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 it's been it, a long time since I played uh, yeah. Arabian Nights or whatever. Uh, yeah. Arabian Nights is is a story telling game, right? Where you read paragraphs and make decisions. Right. Mm -hmm. However, the thing I like about this one is the exploration part. You know, you're just reading. I mean, you're not really exploring like 
the detailed map in a- Arabian Nights. Agents of going to location. is like a, a, a milder version of yeah. this. But no, yeah, by far. And this is like one of a kind to me right now. Like I have not seen, I have not felt a game evoke the feeling of awe and adventure that this one has for me. It's like one of a kind for me. I kind of feel Seventh Continent has a little bit of that yeah. too, though. It does. It has all that really awesome stuff that happens. Um, but you are focused on survival quite a lot in Seventh Continent, just to try to stay alive. I kind of feel like we're um, close to that already I, on this one. Yeah, too. I kind of feel right. like... Now, we're playing... There's a couple modes of the game. There's normal mode and there's brutal mode. <laughs> so if we're if you if all the characters die, you in brutal mode you just lose. Game over, start oh. over. Wow. Oh, I know this see mode, over there there's a checkbox on the sheet, Nikki P, that yeah, we didn't bother yeah. doing. We didn't put our names in there either. We didn't the players. Yeah, we gotta put our yeah. names in the log. Yep. 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 We should log um, everything anyway. So, yes. In brutal mode, if the ship is completely destroyed or your crew is completely killed, then you lose. Just start over. In normal mode, which is what I'm playing and what we, I would suggest people play, um, is you go to the closest port, you fully heal, uh, or the ship fully repairs, and you draw six events off the deck. Mm-hmm. So you advance time. So you lose six oh. turns, basically, in the game. Now we wow. didn't... There's a couple other things in here that are they're not spoilers, but basically mechanics of the game, you play through that deck three times, the event deck. Okay. So, and when it's over, it, the game is over, regardless of how far you so got. So the exact same three decks that Oops. we did, or do we create a new deck? Um, you know, I'm not sure yet, because I haven't okay. done that myself. I've only played through the deck one time, and I stopped right at that moment, so I'm not sure if it's the same events or it's different. But I suspect it's different, just to give you different, right, that's the different stuff that happens. Through it. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah it has a... Normal, brutal, and then the event yep. deck, one, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Defeats. Defeats. Defeats are hurting. And then yeah, uh, agony the defeats. Players, yeah. Well, here, let me, put, let me put the names um, in. Yeah, you got better writing yep. than me. <laughs> so, Do you want the rest of the pads so you're no, not okay. on the wood? So I played a lot of Ryan's games. This mm-hmm. is my favorite of his by far, like okay. a mile. Um, one, it's co-op. Yeah, I love co-op games. And right. I feel like the writing has gotten to the best po- point in his life. And his wife wrote a lot of this too, as I understand it. And um, Mallory. Yeah. Um, the art's amazing. I love the items, the the followers, the allies, the the characters, all the cool abilities. You haven't seen the combat yet, which is no, super I kept awesome. No, I hoping we would see it. No, that's why we it's were like the, pressing. It's, I know. Well, I guess we'll leave that to a surprise next time. But it's one of the coolest combat systems I've ever seen. It's really, really cool. Um, it's not just rolling dice. It's well, got there is lots no of dice, yeah. lots of tactical. Yeah, there's lots of tactical. Well, the dice are the cards, right? So right. you do have dice technically, but the way the combat works is you have a very cool tactical strategy placement of the pieces, like when you're doing damage to the monsters. Neat. So. It is truly quite a lot of game, just in the base game. We did yeah. get the expansion, which has a little bit more to it. Uh, it adds more decks, adds the maps, as yeah. I said, adds the more stories. Um, I love the storybooks. You know, I, I definitely mm-hmm. have fun with them. I thought we, we did Agents of Smash on a stream yeah. early on in the pandemic, mm-hmm. and that was a lot of fun. That was fun. I still, I'm so frustrated I have not bought um, 1001 Arabian Nights yet. Yeah. Uh, it was available at one point Tales. in time. Yeah, Tales of Arabian Nights, yeah, that's right. Um, from Z-Man, they've reprinted it. I, I don't know what I Yeah, did. I think it's back out, right? Maybe. It was, sure. and then when I looked the last time, I don't think it was, but I, I need to look, because um, it's uh, it's pretty fun, too. It's been a very long t- time since we played that one. I think oh, it was yeah. one of our first, it was our first uh, story. Adventure, yeah, storybook type of a thing. S- yeah, storybook. But yeah, book. this is way more intricate. Although, dude, these little, the penny gem, uh, <laughs> penny gems. Yeah, those tokens should be add-ons. <laughs> I know, because these, these are fantastic. So- so the reason I suggested this is because you have such long actions, right? right you, you could go could, like forget. five plus minutes without remembering. Is this my first turn or second turn? I, I think this second is minutes. maybe one of the first. We've used the penny gems maybe once before, but I don't know if we've ever used them on game night. These right. are something that the BGG store used to sell oh too. Gosh, to sell how those, old yeah. are those? Those are a long time ago. Those were early Kickstarters, like maybe some of the earliest oh, yeah. Kickstarters that yeah. I ever did. Yeah. So probably 2013 when I did From, those. 
Improbable Objects, right? Yeah. Isn't that the name of the company? Yeah. Uh, they yeah. Had, he, that, he made um, lots of really cool stuff. The little teeny penny gems he had yeah, that were like on the he, Mexican pesos. The yeah, little, those oh, were I would have cool. loved to have gotten those. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah. It's, it's really on a penny. Yeah, it is it's on a penny. Nice, it's yeah. a nice weight. The way it works is really neat. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, you can obviously use anything. We're just using these pretty kind of looking piratey They're type, you know, piratey. X marks the spot yes. type of deal. Um, yeah, I really, really, and there's so many characters, right? Yeah, you crazy. you absolutely have to have them all, though. It's awesome. How would you? Yeah. You couldn't function without. So in a multi multiplayer yeah. games, you're still going to play with the same amount of characters, correct? Yeah, you do. So hmm. it would be. So if if you and Nikki were playing a two player, you would split the characters and down then the, the middle. Captain you would pick would be... four. Yeah, you would get four, and Nikki would get four, and then the captain would be a shared character. You could each use okay. it. If we were going to do that, or um, we just continue like we're doing. I let, this is fine this way. I think it's perfectly fine as a solo play, like and play it together. As work out. Yeah. There's a little. There's a little more mechanics with with multiple players. There's th ways you can help each other, but they cost command points. Okay. So you, but you're getting more command points. Like if you flip the ship over, there's a backside for three, okay. four player, um, to show. I mean, I I think it's just different numbers is all. Oh yeah, you yeah. get more command tokens. Which makes sense because you have to interact with each other to probably solve some problems. Right. Um, when it's not your turn, right? But I think what we're doing is perfectly fine. I would recommend that. Um, I hate to be too hyperbolic, but this might be my game of the year in February. Like, <laughs> what else could what else could come out that would make me so gushing over a game? <laughs> Unfortunately, the game is not available right now. You have to pre-order it. Uh, I think it'll be. It's going to come to retail. Um, currently, there's only Kickstarters out, and um, but I would. I would recommend pre-ordering it, getting it. I mean, depending on when this video releases, well, who knows what will happen, but um, come out soon. Well, this will be soon from February. Show that deck with that box of cards, Nikki. That deck of this? quests. And, yeah, and the, and that's a really cool box. It's got a magnetics class yeah. on it. It's really right. nice. It, we do have the additional, uh, the Yay. few additional yeah. quest decks and adventure decks yeah. that we came that came in the expansion. But I, I mean, you know, it's just about this much, right, on each one of them. Yeah. So, so it added like about a quart, maybe like a fifth more content, and the expansion just adds more content. It doesn't add any extra rules, as I, as I understand it. Nice. Um, and adds another storybook. Um, there also is a dungeons expansion in the in the uh, Kickstarter version, which I think is coming out as a separate product. Nice. It can be purchased, which adds a dungeon game, which nice. I haven't even looked. I haven't even really looked at it. I've got it sitting here, but I've not touched it. Um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, it's like the game that I've been waiting for for a long time. That's it cool. It really is. Yeah. Well, definitely, it definitely so, is cool. I mean, I because this this map book is kind of like um, Forbidden Waters. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they, they basically probably just ate it at the same time, so it's not... You know what I mean? Where you yeah. flip it and do you do the stuff. I actually, what's the other well, game? That's that's Jerry Hawthorne's thing. That you know the Plat Hat right games uh, designer from he did the um, stuff fables. Right. Yeah, we never played that. I wanted to. Yeah, but... and all those things. Yeah, they the flip book with the map is super popular. And then I mean, I guess it's in the new Gloomhaven. Right. Yeah. Jaws absolutely. of the Lion. Yeah, Jaws of the Lion. I, I think that's the way all of them should be, because you can. You could draw a very cool map now and not have to cut it up into tiles. Right. Right. Or print it on the board where it's static. Right. right. And this is like, it gives you like what, there's like 20 pages in this book. Oh, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. And I love that. I love that it, just jumping to the, another section to get to the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And Nikki has the map on the back, so you can kind of see how big it is. How oh, yeah. It it's crazy. I mean, what, it's just we played one one square we of that map. We were just here in the center, and right. we didn't even get to all the other locations here. Yeah, we did not. Yeah. Yeah, that's phenomenal. The yeah. wandering. It's, it's kind of a masterpiece, I have to say. I mean, blew me away. Well, I know you've only had it for a short time, and you've I, already played well, it a put, couple times. I've put eight hours on my own, and then a few hours here tonight. So I'm still excited to see more. Absolutely. Well, and I'll have to tell you, I've all the things we did tonight. I did not see. Really? Oh really? God. Wow. The only the only overlap. Actually, there was one overlap. It was um, it was Oobs on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was down I here went, once I, before. Right? I went and got I went and got Oobs on, and then I went south from there. 
Oh wow, okay. And I did lose my entire crew. I thought that they oh were you goodness. know they were explaining I, stuff. <laughs> yeah. He lost his entire crew on that. Crazy, yep. crazy. TPK. Huh. So I lost six turns. Well, yeah. I wonder about this the the ghost ship. That I want to know more about. I did. I did that. I did not see that ghost ship, and that's super intriguing. Yeah, I want to know what that's about. I wonder. Well, if I it, marked it, it off as more. complete. Right, but I mean, Don't there's return. obviously something. Well, we got more. the. Oh, I'm, I'm looking. We at got this. the photograph. That. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, cool. Thanks for teaching us, Scott. You're welcome. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time. See you next time.